catchy graphics. Yeah, you know, too much free time. Oops, there, I, I think I have push to talk. Test one, two, do you hear me now? I do. Yeah, I was just saying too much free time. Fair enough. All right, well, I think I'm ready to get started here. Hey, everybody, welcome. Happy Saturday. Great to see you. It's um, going to be a fun day. I've uh, thrown a little bit of an audible out there. We're still going to fly the Operation Deep Freeze, which was the original plan, but I'm going to try to fly a second component of the event tonight. I don't know if I'll do both legs of Operation Deep Freeze. What, I, uh, plan, what I'm planning on doing for sure is going from uh, Cincinnati here to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, I had a a second leg set. I was going to go Minneapolis down to uh, St. Louis. And speaking of St. Louis, we've got special guest in the voice chat room, uh, Mr. Downwind Sim. Hello, Mr. Downwind Sim. He's on delay. Hey, everyone. <laughs> He's uh, in the in the workshop as the mad scientist always is working on that Carinado, uh the caravan trying to get some logic figured out and uh, anyway uh, he's he's been gracious enough to stop by to help us out with this first part of our trip which is uh, Cincy up to let's see Cincy up to Minneapolis St. Paul here's the flight plan it'll be the Whitewater 1 departure, it doesn't show here, but then we're going to be in on the uh, Eau Claire 9 arrival. Should be about, I think uh, Simbrief is saying about an hour and 53 minutes or so. And then um, if we do decide to fly that second leg down to St. Louis, it's a little over an hour. So we'll just kind of see how traffic is. If it's if we can get in and out, I'd like to fly both legs and then we'll, we can hop down to um, Hawaii for that the second part the additional the bonus part um, but yeah we'll just we'll just kind of see how it goes um, I I, uh, I don't want to I don't want to be so late down to the to the Hawaii event that basically you know everybody's closing up shop and all that good stuff even though it would, it would still be um, a lot of fun but uh, yeah anyway I don't know we're gonna see if we can balance both and and uh, hopefully we can we can do both things, so uh, probably best if we just get started here, if that's okay with everybody. Um, this uh, this aircraft is one that actually Downwind Sim um, uh, told me about way back. It's been heck. I don't know when I first came over to X Plane. He said, "Oh, one of the first planes you got to pick up is that Rotate MD80." And and uh, man, am I glad I did. It's been uh, really a fun aircraft to uh, to fly. I tried to install the new sound pack. The FT Sim has a sound pack for it, um, but unfortunately, it it broke the uh, it broke this part, the loading. It didn't it wouldn't allow me to load the aircraft. So um, I had to take those out. I I may at some point try to go back in and see if you know maybe I just didn't put something in the right spot. It, that if you guys have ever um, installed one of those sound pack deals, you kind of have to make a couple, two or three little changes. And um, if you don't get everything just right, it will it'll cause weird problems like not being able to load your aircraft. So uh, that I still have that downloaded, and I'm still. Is, uh, is that the thing that you did uh, with the um, uh, Patreon? Yeah. Patreon? Yep. And I've and I put in I installed he has a really nice one for the PC12, and uh, so I really do like it. But this is the second one I've attempted only only the second one I should say that I've attempted to um, to install, and I, I I didn't get it done correctly the first time either. So I'm thinking it's it's me putting something in the wrong spot. Okay, gotcha. What's yeah. the name of that website website again? F FT Sim Plus, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I've subscribed to the lowest level. It's like two dollars a month or something. But he is he puts out at least one new sound every week. It seems like, and he's got many more. Hello, 
that um, that he has that like if you're subscribed at a higher level you can get access to but that's I just wanted it yeah I mean if nothing else the the sound pack for the PC 12 was worth it all right, we're going to go ahead, and I don't think I'm going to use APU or I GPU. Keep forgetting about it. I'm going to go ahead and go right to uh, APU power here. And we got all that started. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's see here. Fuel, all that stuff. I think I have the flight plan filed. Yes, I do. And still no ATC down here. It's still a little bit early. It's about an hour before the event actually starts. So I'm expecting all of the sectors around Minneapolis-St. Paul to uh, to light up. And we just had we just haven't flown out of Cincinnati for a while. So I thought that would be a nice one to to start with. Okay, parking brake. The battery coming on here. And let's see. We'll get the emergency lights armed. Passenger signs on, and then I think we can go ahead. Yeah, we'll go. Let's get the position strobes on here. Um, don't really need any floodlights just yet. It's still I, I backed the timer up. It's like middle of the afternoon, so um, we should have plenty of light. Uh, APU. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the APU going here, just cause. Everything spinning up right here. So yeah, rotate um, has has really done a fantastic job. And uh, oh my goodness gracious, Jay Smitty is here and uh, has pushed the ascription button. He's a seven month subscriber now. Thank you so much, to, uh, Smitty. This first sip of fine ale is uh, for you. It's a dark ale today. Um, it's a twenty. 22 um, Dr. Pepper La Pute La Pepper Ale. So, um, looks good. Don't you think this is a, this was a Christmas present um, oh, from a friend? Is that, is that a European brand? I've yeah. seen that one before. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> um, yeah, so actually, it's a little scary, guys. I've been drinking Dr. Pepper like all freaking day and. Um, I'm going to probably have to take like 10 bathroom breaks during the stream. So it's probably, maybe it's good we don't have ATC here early on because I'm, oh my goodness. Yeah, well, that makes it even worse. All right. Did you ever figure out your MD-80 problem where the, there was some sort of electrical switchover issue? I believe the problem was a simple matter of the airport that I had, that I was at, did not have a GPU um, available and so consequently it wasn't I was trying to to trip the buses and it wasn't doing anything but I think what what the deal was because I used the same plane I just spawned into a different spot and it worked fine so I think it just must have been whatever airport I was at didn't have a ground power unit I don't think that's connected but all right that was my theory and I'm gonna go with it okay fair enough. <laughs> Because uh, I have no other theories. I I mean I did a full I did a full reinstall and uh, and it and I don't know maybe it's just it could just also be a glitch with the scenery. I wish I would remembered like because it wasn't a small it wasn't like it wasn't like Riverton you know it wasn't like Central Wyoming regional it was a it was a fairly good sized airport but anyway um, yeah I don't know. Air conditioning coming on. That's on. We should have good pneumatic pressure down there, and we do. Um, we're going to get the aft pump going, and that'll make, let us do the start pump off. Galley power can come on. Windshield and anti ice, or windshield anti fog, anti ice comes on. And let's get those IRSs aligning. Let's see. I've got to do some stuff over here too. I think, right? Um, logo light can come on. Yaw damper on. Radio rack goes to fan. That's uh. No, Yaw damper just stays to on, not override. Oops. Thank you. I clicked it a little too far. Um. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn on. You guys know how I am with panel lighting. I like my panel lighting. Um, especially these older older aircraft. They have such such dark panels, dark cockpits. All right. Um, we will be flying into Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is has an elevation of about 1,000 feet. Yeah, 841 feet here, so we'll, we'll uh, get that set, 840-ish, and I'm seeing a current. Uh, so that means the Mississippi River falls about 300 feet from between Minneapolis and St. Louis. Wow, that doesn't seem like a whole lot, if I'm being honest. It doesn't. Because how many miles is it? Uh, between it's it's a couple hundred miles, right? Or is it even more than that? Maybe. No, it's it's at least 500. Wow, that's uh, that's crazy. That's a lazy river right there. 2983 is. Well, it's flat out here in this part of the country. <laughs> we, I can I can almost see Minneapolis from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get up on top of your roof, you can see the, you can see the, uh, the. Uh, Oh gosh, Prince's Prince's Mansion up here in Minneapolis. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of a good, a good like landmark in the Mall of America. I guess maybe would have been a better landmark, but I was on the spot. I couldn't, couldn't think about it. All right, uh, fuel use. We're gonna reset that. Was good. that. Was good. You did fine. Um, I was gonna say the. Uh, the Minneapolis, the old Minneapolis uh, ballpark, the hefty bag there, but they don't have that anymore. Let's Pentagon, get... welcome. Here's Pentagon. Oh, Pentagon. What's going on, Rob? Good to see you, man. Happy Saturday. That comes on, that comes on, that comes on. Pentagon, Melvin's drinking an especially Ooh. dark ale today. Yes. Oh, what do you think of that, and, my friend? Uh, he'd it's, like to show that to you, I'm sure. Sergeant, that. wait, Sergeant Rock is here first of all before I, do, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I have, I still have the can. I'll show you. It's a, it's a, I had it imported from, uh, from and Belgium. so much of it, it wouldn't fit in his ale, ale mug. Well, I had so much of it here from, uh, from Belgium. It's a, a, a Diete, uh. Dr. Pepier, yeah, I'm sorry, 1885. That's a pretty uh, good year for ale. Um, yeah, this is a this is an angler's pint. It's not a regular. It doesn't just. I mean, you need more than just uh, 12. You need more than 12 ounces, my friend. Um, yeah, crap. Now I'm off. Now I'm off my. I'm never gonna. I'm not even gonna make it to Minneapolis St. Paul with down one sim in the in the chat. I can tell. What were we doing? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Um, what am I? Oh, I was doing fuel stuff, right? Yeah, fuel stuff, fuel-related issue items. Oh, we're still getting. We're, we're still taking fuel here, so I'm not going to do too much with that just yet. Which, by the way, that's that's super ultra cool. I love that. Uh, let's put the hydro pumps on uh, here. Set your, uh, set your position on your. Um... Yeah. Position on, on the FMS, so yep. That, almost, so almost ready. Almost ready for that. I am, as you know, Mr. Checklist. I'm not quite oh, there yet. I'm terribly sorry. I have to check okay. my CG, my flaps, confirm all, zero. Safety as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my CG flaps are in takeoff position, and then I also have to confirm gear lever down and down on my Bravo. Now I'm ready to. Enter my pause in it. Whoops, I always forget to do that though. Yep, Northern Kentucky, Covington, Cincinnati, yeah, you pick it, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's part of the wonderful, exciting. Can't wait to uh, to participate in it. The Operation Deep Freeze. All right, that's good. And we do need to wait for the INSs to fully align. Oh, it looks like maybe they have. Um, 
before we can put the rest of the the route in there. And uh, those of you in the chat, thank you for stopping by. I will um, I will get you I'll get you uh, caught up here, and I think I have everybody welcome there. Pentagon says that looks that looks nice. Looks that's a nice age ale. Yeah, 1885. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's worth every penny. And I'll probably be consuming several more. It's sort of amazing that you're able to get such a vintage uh, edition right there in the middle of Wyoming. It's, you know, we, we sometimes the stagecoach comes our way on their way to, from St. Louis out to out to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. They stop by and drops off some sarsaparilla. All right. Um, I, it's This is kind of a boring story, but when my oldest son was about 10... Um, there's a, there's a little mining town up in the mountains here, not too far away called South Pass City and Atlantic City has, um, has actually has a bar and grill and restaurant. And so, um, with my oldest boy, I went in there, I told him that, uh, you know, if he goes in there, all we have to drink is, um, uh, they only serve whiskey. And, uh, so... Uh, he's like, what? I'm like, yeah. And he thought I was joking at first, and so we went up there, and and sat down and <laughs> and got to ordering and looking at the menu and and after a couple of minutes, he's pretty quiet. I'm like, you okay, buddy? He's like, Dad, do I really have to drink whiskey? Because <laughs> this is like a legit old time, like it's it's old old. It's got bullet holes in the ceiling and all that good stuff. So anyway, now I broke the news to him that he didn't. He could get himself a an 1885 Diet Dr Pepper if he wanted to. Good times. It's a cool place if you ever go. Stop in there. The Mercantile. Um, what did I? The Whitewater. Gosh darn. Um. Oh, geez. I was. That's what I was going to do. I was going to look for my um my Diatus here and see where we're going. Oh, then my youngest, my younger son. We went there a couple years later. And I thought, well, I'm not going to be mean to him. I'm not going to tell him about whiskey. But I told him he had to order sarsaparilla. Well, I didn't realize, but he thought sarsaparilla was beer. And so he kind of had the same, like uh, like when we got sat down, he's like, Dad, am I, am I old enough to drink sarsaparilla? <laughs> I'm like, dude, it's it's red beer. Man. You're good to go, buddy. I uh, love my two boys, my two innocent little boys. They're all grown up now. All right, we are departing runways 18 left and runway 27. So, um, I'm, I feel so unprepared now. I thought I was good to go, and now, like, I don't even have my taxi chart pulled up. Pentagon loves me some whiskey and an old fashioned. Yeah, I actually went up there. And this is not a great idea, but uh, I went up there one one time for a whiskey tasting. They had a they had a a fundraiser for they they basically they restore. Uh, there, there's a mine up there called um, well, there's actually seven, but uh, but the the Carissa mine is the big one in the area, and so they've got a group uh, a nonprofit group. You know that uh, an historical society basically that uh, restores this mine, and they've been working on it for years. It's really nice. They've got all they've got a bunch of the original equipment back, and they've got it like in working order. And they almost the guy said that his goal is to get it in working order so that he can like run a scoop of uh, ore through it if he wanted to. I don't think he ever will, but he's and he's getting close. But anyway, the one of the fundraisers they did was a like a wine taste or a, sorry a whiskey tasting. Man, it was really really good. But, um, you know, I went up there and it's a good, like it's an hour drive up into the mountains, right? And I just went up there by myself and, uh, thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be whatever. It's going to be a little bit of, you know, maybe one or two or three little shots of whiskey, just little samplers and some food to eat. You know, I'd be good to go. Right. No, it was like, it was like five or six, uh, legit like shots of whiskey and no food. And so, like I get up there at about six o'clock at in the evening, and I'm hungry because I'm thinking there's dinner, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm I I stayed up there until probably ten or eleven o'clock at night, 
um, rummaging through my car to find a granola bar and drinking all the water I could find before I felt safe to get back on the road to, to drive back down the mountain. It was it was not my finest moment. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, luckily there's a town about 30 miles away that as, as I was coming in and I was, I was like, I was more like, I wasn't worried about not being safe to drive, but I'm like, sure enough, like I'll get in a fender bender and, um, you know, and somebody will, uh, I'll have to be breathalyzed or whatever. And I'll get this DWI. If I'd have felt unsafe to drive, I would have been, uh, and I don't think it was six, shots but it was more than i thought and it was no food attached but anyway that was that was a day of my youth that was not the smartest not the smartest day i've ever had all right too much storytelling here um i'm trying to find what we're doing we got to get the heck out of here oops i just started spotify accidentally haha when you're looking for a mcdonald's on the way home yep that's right this is payware um Whitewater, gosh, I think I think somehow I have uh, not got this air rack. I just did an air rack cycle update, update, and I don't think this one worked. I don't think the Mad Dog. Um, I don't think it worked. I got an old air rack. I should be the Whitewater one. Hopefully, it's not too much different. We're gonna take one eight left as our departure, and it's gonna be the. Uh, oh yeah, see, I've got a different transition. Should be the, um, should be the, oh no, caddies. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, and it's a pretty, it's really a pretty simple route here. We go, um, it's the uh, caddies, then the Juliet 89 to uh, BAE and then in on the Eau Claire 9. Um, but just, let's see. Nope, oh, Juliet 89. Really? Not in database. I'll be darned. Okay. We may just have to go direct BAE. I don't think I don't think there's a, it's it's just a pretty straight shot here, direct. Let's see if I can put it in after the fact. Sometimes you can do it that way. No. I'll be darned. Okay, so we'll go, uh, we're going to go there, and we're going to go, um, all right, let's take a look at Minneapolis-St. Paul, see which way they're landing. This is turning into more and more of a just a one leg event, I can tell. And then we'll hop over to hop down to Hawaii. Maybe it's better that way. This this mad dog tends to tends to buck me off whenever I try to fly it. Visual runway three zero right. Very good, very good. Okay, so we'll still set um, ILS uh, three zero right. Groves transition and. Looking for the layer. Nine, good. EAE transition. All right, that should that should tidy things up here a little bit. Let's just check and see. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a of a deal. Oh, it's gonna it's a vector out of here, so that won't let me clear up that disco, but it will let me do this. Lovely. Yep. Perfect. Ah, man, that seems uh. That seems okay, but we'll check it just to make sure. Over to the plan mode, and oh, holy moly! I already have something that's off. This first, this first waypoint is way off. Caddies. I think I misspelled it, didn't I? What in the world? Holy cow, guys! Um. That's why you check it. That is exactly why you do it. That's really weird. All right. Cat is there. We're going to get rid of you. I don't know where you came from, but we don't need you. And 
Now I should be able to tighten that up. Ah, that's a lot better. Okay, let's check this out now, and let's see. Ah, it still looks crazy. I think it's because maybe my range is crazy tight. Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, legs. Page. Caddis. Goodness gracious. Still, still does not look right. Yeah, it's got something wild in the, in the route here. What in the world is going on, you guys? Um. Okay, uh, I'm just looking at Sky Vector, and uh, just double check in here. So we depart, and we should be able to um, part of it again is I don't have the up-to-date nav data here so whitewater one I might just take a I might just do a I might just come off of yeah I might just come off the freaking IVAC localizer here the Cincinnati 17.3 I might just do that just come up here straight to Northbrook to OBK yeah I'll just do that still doesn't change the fact I've got some weird discontinuity in here oh I see what's going on okay okay guys stand by I think I see what's going on I've got um, I've got BAE in there twice that's what's up okay so previous page so there's BAE to lovely to Zapple to VHP and then I got to Macy's then I got yeah then I got all this business here so um, That I think is, I think that is an extra one here. All right, let's try this now. Let's see if that helps clean it up any. Oh, I still have something way down here after lovely. Like I just need to start again. Zabel, Zabel. Nope, Zabel's right there. Zabel up to VHP. Boy, I don't know what I did, but I really mucked up this uh, mucked up this departure, didn't I? All right, well, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't have to do this very often, but um, we're gonna just get rid of stuff. Try it again. Try it again. I think a lot of these are on the approach actually so I'll have to go back and redo that but that's okay yep there's O for the Eau Claire twins wolves loons Zasky and then I'm on the uh, groves that's the arrival okay so let me try this again if you don't mind I think I'm gonna do I think I'm not going to do the departure. I'm going to I'm going to just do a just going to do a runway 18 left departure. Yep, good. Leave that alone. So then our first so we're out to caddies. That I like. Oh, ah ah ah, that's the problem. D I Z caddies. Pick the right one here since that's been the bane of our existence here to this point. It's uh, North 41 and West 87. So North 41, West 87, that's our boy right there. All right, good deal. Probably has that old one in there as well. That's okay. We'll get rid of it here. And then up to BAE. Okay. And then there's the old one I want to get rid of. All right, awesome. Then I can do the arrival. Runway 30 right, yep. And I can do the Eau Claire 9. 
good with the BAE transition. All right, uh -huh. let's see if that fixes our little red wagon. That does look a little bit better. Still has a weird kind of a uh, weird kind of a leg there, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Let's let's just see. Let's just see. So we're gonna come out of here. Towards caddies. I don't know why that's not showing on my deal. Oh, that's because I'm not. All right, this is a pain in the neck. I'm going to be honest with you. Groves. Let's see if it'll cycle through and go back to the beginning. There we go. Caddies. Good. Now up north to BAE, then to Beer 1, then to Robbie, then to Crispy, then to Wild, Eau Claire Twins. We're in on the arrival. Oh, I know what that is. Um, this is, okay, so if I want to go, so I'll probably get, I'll probably get radar vectored here from Zasky. And if, if they want, they could take me all the way back to Groves, which is down here. Uh, that's what that is. So yeah, kind of a almost like they're flying me on a right hand downwind back away from the airfield, then we'll come back in. Okay, that that looks a lot better. That makes sense. Sorry that took so long, you guys. That was uh that was really boring to watch, I'm sure. Okay. Thank you for your patience. So um yeah, uh Pentagon asked, is is this pay where it is? And it um and it comes with a little bit of a a scenery challenge, I guess, was what you might say. It it has this one has a bit of a problem on oh downwind sim downwind sim. You remember where one of these ends has a little bit of a of a patch that you have to put in. Seems like it was kind of down on this end. It looks really nice now that we have the patch. It's really a cool airport because it has like a lot of sloping like little areas within the boundary of the of the airport and you can yeah, see I it's think it was on that north north uh, northwest end I think is what yeah. was messed up. But now that I've got it installed um it, it it's a really a nice air, airport and I got it kind of uh, as much as anything I got it It was a little tricky to get it to get it all sorted out if I remember right. Yeah the the directions were not super clear and I think we had to end up going in and I, I think I might have actually had to disable the ortho tile um, at, at least temporarily. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, it, it was uh, – we got it done thanks to thanks to Downwind Sim <laughs> and the mad scientist helped me out. But, um, but, yeah, I got it as much as anything. I got it because I thought it would be fun to fly cargo ops in and out of here. It gave me another cargo op um, option, cargo option. All right, almost done with this thing. I know I have put on a show with my skills with the FMC, haven't I? We are cruising at 3.40. I think we've totally missed our departure time by like 20 minutes already. Uh, we've got zero fuel weight in there, 52.2 reserves. Are, I'm going to put... Am I going to miss my connection to Hawaii? A firm, most likely. Oh, gosh. Okay, that looks good. Um... Don't worry, I'll cut a lot of corners here, safety related, and we'll get caught up. Uh, mm, top of climb, top of climb winds are two, uh, three twenty one seventy six. So a little bit of a little bit of a headwind there. Oh goodness sakes, three two one dash seven six, and that gives us uh, temperatures up there in minus fifty five. All right, that's all good. Um, zero fuel weight, look, 52.2. So let's just get, let's do the fuel, the fuel stuff right now. So gross weight, zero fuel weight is uh, 52.2. Okay, and that should give us a. It should give us a gross weight of 62.5. Yeah, pretty doggone close. We'll take that. Okay. 
and outside air temp currently it looks like it's a balmy negative six here in uh, Cincinnati gives us a flex temperature of one and a flex oh, EPR of a 2.09 CG of Niner B speeds of 153 157 and 164 and uh, that's all there is to programming the FMC in this plane it only took us 40 this took me longer to program the FMC in this plane than it does to get the 747 started I don't know what that says for my for my route here <laughs> Uh, fuel loading is complete, so we can do this. One good thing is all this stuff is done, so you know that's what we usually wait on is is cargo and fuel loading. So we get all that stuff closed, and um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna call for pushback here. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you wanna go. Go with the nose to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. And go there. <laughs> so, since I am not actually flying this arrival by the book, I'm still going to try to maintain the altitude restrictions and all that good stuff. So, jets are 6,000. Set that. Um, heading is going to be a uh, 184. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. And speed on the initial get out of dodge is 250. Just kind of a standard climb out speed for this plane here. And it's always an adventure to see if I can actually get there. So, um, uh, yeah, down when Sim did toss out the Mr. Safety hard hat, I appreciate that. That is a good reminder to everybody of what you're getting into. Pretty much professional, professional pilot, simmer guy, you know, procedure follower, dude. It's why you love me. I know, it's why you love me. We need uh, we kind of we kind of do, don't we? We kind of do. Well, we have an hour and 15 minutes before that uh, event starts, so uh, we we're in good shape. Oh yeah. Altimeter 3011. Let's go. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, buddy. <laughs> Downwind Sim's a bad bad influence on me, as you can tell. He's probably gonna have me convinced to buy some new add-on but by the time we're all said and done um that is good and okay we need Talk to get the, the uh, calling the kettle black uh yeah you're kind of right yeah oh <laughs> uh, we're gonna squawk two grand T-A-R-A, -A, and then, and then, and then, we're going to open up the pneumatic cross feeds, and then we're just about ready. Holy cow, just about ready. Uh, we got to go down, whoops, we got to go down here and do the toga button thing. Click. Uh-oh, that didn't do anything. Um, oh, I got to get the flight directors on first, that's why flight directors are on. Now I can do the toga button thing. And, oh, I forgot to do one critical step here. Assumed outside temperature is going to be negative 6. I'm going to back that off here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Not going to let me go below. Does it not let me go below 0? What's up with that? Oh, take off flex. There we go. Oh, it will not. It will not let you go below. Oh, that's right. It said positive 1 right there. Duh. Right in front of me. If it was a snake, I'd be bit. Uh, flight level 60, 6,000 set. Takeoff, takeoff for the roll and pitch. Okay. Um, sweet. Galley power can come off. And 
shipyard there, guys. Transfer and ox pumps are on. Anti-collision is on. And... It's robot, fi it's robot fighting time. Get the gate away. A sip of uh, Dr. Pepper. Thanks for thanks for joining me, guys. Man, we have so much fun doing this. What would, what else would I be doing on a Friday night? Uh, sorry, Saturday night. Um, let's see. System A sounds like a good system. And we do Wait need to... 643. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, we need to turn the... Uh, before I do anything, i, I got to get some pneumatic pressure here. Uh, supply off. That comes up. Good. We need that. There we go. S s left starter valve is open. What did I file? Just out of curiosity. I filed um, departure time. Oh, I, I got departure time at top of the hour. We still have 12 minutes. See, I knew. I knew with uh, Dalwin Sim in the background that I there was going to be uh, distractions. Yeah, you, do you not believe me? I'm going to show you here. Look at that. Read them and wheat, baby. Departure time. Midnight. Threat level midnight. Fuel on. I turn you off. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you aboard uh, Delta Airlines. Our pilot tonight is Captain Melvin Leroy. And uh, let's just say buckle up and we're sorry for the late departure. We'll be there at some point, Lord willing. We'll just uh, flip those a couple times. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, close the guard, and here we go. I think we're the only ones. Uh, I think we're the only ones finding this humorous right now. That's okay. We're pretty funny. It's typical. We we think we are quite funny. <laughs> it's just a good thing neither of our kids are here. That was really cool the other night when I didn't realize both of them were at home when I was smack talking those guys. That was really cool to see. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Yeah, they were watching you in the living room. And uh, Disconnecting so code. thanks for Stand saying by. a shout out to them. They, they thought, you know, from a big star like you, it's kind of, you know, reaching out to your audience. Yeah, they're, they're good people. All right, uh, and again, engine stuff, engine stuff, engine stuff. I'm going to point with my mouse and act like I know what it all means. And Oh, yeah, that's right in. That's uh, right on the numbers there. Hot start and hung start. Full reverse. Gasper fan. Pilot talk, pilot talk. Actually, what I do love is how, how clunky the, uh, the generator transfer is. It's like, ka-chonk. You can like, you can almost smell the fuse. I don't think I need the center tank. All right, we do have uh, power, so I can go ahead and do this and this. Uh, turn that off. And turn that off. We'll go ahead and put the uh, HP air conditioning on to auto and. AP power is available, but not for long. I've turned it off. It'll be spinning down here and not available here in a little bit, I think, anyway. That's going to come down. Uh, we need that on, and I think I should have turned on anti oh, I already had anti-collision on. Sweet. Um, boy, we are close. We are really close here. APU off. Oh, uh, get the galley power back on. And do I need center? I do have some fuel in the center tanks. Okay, that'll that'll pop off here in a little bit. And then I think the last couple things here would be that. Parking brake is on. That's now off. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Betty, for reminding me. CG is Niner. And so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go. It's a flaps 15 departure. CG of 9. And let's bring the trim. Hard to see, but here comes my uh, long trim. Match it up. And uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, now let's check our config. Yeah, baby. Nice and clean. All right. All right, all right. I can turn the... I think I could turn the... Pneumatic crossfeeds. I can close them. But this time, and we do need to set the um, let's set this to take off and arm that auto break, and here we go. Thanks for your patience, everybody. And again, as I might add, we are on time or set to be on time for departure. We're going right straight out here to one eight left. The obligatory taxi out shot. I'm making some pollution, guys. Not going to lie. Head, heading set for uh, runway heading. A firm. Altitude pre-selected for initial altitude. 6,000. Auto throttle. Speed set to 250. 250, right? You know what? One thing I was going to do is this, though. I was going to. I do need to come out from Cincinnati 1730. So I'm going to do a little uh, slant whiskey flying right straight out the gate here. And uh, we'll be on a 294 initial outbound here. So that'll be ready to go. Thrust control panel set for takeoff. I'm going to do a flex takeoff. Flexy takeoff. See what I did there? I did. Brought the guns. Ringo, Louie. Yep, the dad jokes. The dad jokes never stop. <laughs> Louie Diddy, thank you so much for laughing. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's still awake out there after that 51-minute setup. You pick this plane because it's a, a airliner that usually takes you like 10 minutes. You're flying, and I turned it into a 51-minute ordeal. No, I'm sorry. I tur turned it into a 51-minute experience. Flu Diddy, great to have you, man. Experience. Happy Saturday. All right, let's uh, let's make sure that. Uh, oh, hey, the track IR is a little cockeyed here, but there we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. That'll be ready for us. Cincinnati traffic, Delta 816 is on the taxi. One eight left. Cincinnati traffic. I keep my. Uh, my my yokes keep popping in here, and I, I really don't want them. I don't want them. Flu Diddy, uh, me too. 30 minutes minimum. <laughs> I think this one just kind of, uh, I jinxed myself thinking, ah, you know, when I, when I was first planning the flight, I'm like, ah, let's just, well, actually, I picked this one because initially I thought I would have a new sound pack to be showing off, but that didn't work. But then I'm like, oh, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna stay with it because because um, it's fun and pretty easy to set up. So I'm caught in a little bit of a scenery issue. You see what we got here? We got a little bit of a hillside. So we're gonna do a little, uh, little flex taxi. And you have that. This is one of the things about this scenery. It's It's got a little bit of uh, dipsy-doo dunkaroo here and there and everywhere, so just be ready for that. Ah, oh, that's a pretty 
Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Right on the stripe, baby. I think sometimes flu diddy, the, the faster you try to be, the worse it gets. Like with me, with the route. Well, part of the route issue was me just not having a having everything uh, set up in terms of my air act cycle, which is crazy because I should have a fresh newly installed air rack but something something didn't work so i'm gonna have to go check it out oh indy center's on yay all right very cool so let's let's get that uh weather radar on and walk away 19 what do we need here 1955 i'm gonna stop right here in the middle of the taxiway and we're gonna talk to indy my notes out. Indianapolis Center. Hello, Delta 816 on the ground at Cincinnati IFR to Minneapolis St. Paul. Delta 816, Indy Center. Hello. Uh, would you uh, be able to take the uh, Killer 3 arrival into uh, Minneapolis? Today? We could take Killer 3, Delta 816. Delta 816, Roger. Stand by for your round. Delta 816, uh, if you're uh, ready to taxi, you can uh, taxi runway uh, 27. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's the way you're going. I'm sorry. We're actually uh, holding short 1-8 left and pretty well ready for departure, but uh, we'll hang We'll hang here uh, for departure clearance first. Okay, Delta 816, Roger. That's no problem. Uh, just stand by real quick, and uh, I'll get a new route for you. All right. Flap set, auto brake takeoff, armed, nose lights are on. Indy Center, good evening, that's 834, other on Indianapolis, going to pick up our high floor to Memphis. Get the timer going. Hello, uh, clearance on request, stand by number two. And, uh, Indianapolis Center, Giant 3604, we're ready. Flight level 360. But we need killer three arrival, so that's going to change things just a little bit. Oh. oh crap! Killer two, shoot! Uh, this is I'd, not. I'd work on that too after you get going. Yeah, I will. I'm just, I'm just taking a peek at it to see what it looks like, how it's different. It's going to be different enough, right, guys? You just know it is. Well, we're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little cheat, and what I'm, what I'm gonna do is get in the air. Now I'll just, I'll have Killer Three up on my Navigraph moving, mo moving map, and I'll just, I can fly it. Yeah, go ahead for Delta 816. Delta 816 cleared to the Minneapolis airport via the Lovey 6 departure. Cadiz, that's Charlie Alpha Delta India Zulu. Jet 89, Oscar Bravo Kilo, direct Kama, Kilo Alpha, Mike Mike Alpha, and the Killer 3 arrival, that's Kilo Kilo India Lima Romeo 3. Maintain 6,000, expect fellow 340, one zero minutes after departure. Departures this frequency, squawk 6740. All right, we're cleared to Minneapolis. A lovely six departure. Cat is transition, uh, Juliet 89. Um, Oscar Bravo, Kilo, Kama, Killer 3 arrival. Maintain 6,000. Expect 340 squawking 6740. Delta 816. Delta 816, readback is correct. Uh, just let me know when you're ready for departure there. The uh, Cincinnati Altimeter 3011. All right, we'll give you a call for departure here in just a second. Delta 816. 46, radar contact, 25 miles south of Rosewood, 50370. Yep, so we've got a couple of things here that we're going to have to adjust. Well, it changed my, um, it changed my departure. 
as well as um, yeah, so we're just going to take a look. If we happen to have it, then I'm going to go ahead and fly it. Uh, lovely 6. Maybe that's one that hasn't changed here. Lovely 6. Okay, cool. That's like a little bit of a little bit of a blessing there. Okay, sweet. So we'll take that. Alright. Caddies. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to redo this here. FedEx 834, Indy Center, have your clearance. Copy, FedEx 834. Mm -hmm. FedEx 834, cleared to the Memphis airport via the Hoosier 5 departure, Pocket City. Yeah, we missed our departure time, didn't we? Darn it. Departures this frequency, Squawk 6702. Lovely 6. Yeah, you had to answer the guy before you... I know, you're right, that was a rookie mistake. Lovey, lovey six. Lovey six. FedEx eight thirty four, you read back's correct. Push and start at your discretion. Call me for taxi. The Indianapolis altimeter three zero zero five, runway two three left. All right. Mostly it's the same. It's uh, that is. Goodness gracious. Uniform ready to OBK. Yeah, most of this we can do once we get in the air. Get this up in the air, we can go. All right, nice. Andy Center, good evening, United. Twenty thirty-three, flight level three seven zero, twelve miles east of Bible Grove. United twenty thirty-three, Andy Center, hello. Delta 816 is ready for departure. Delta 816, the Cincinnati wins 2106, runway 1A left, clear for takeoff. 1A left, clear for takeoff, Delta 816. All right, he's expecting us to make a, to come off of here on runway heading, then make a right-hand turn. Polar 958 at Indy Center, have your clearance. Yeah, right-hand turn, about a 300. We're, gonna, we're winging it here, guys, a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Ooh, that guy's going to Tokyo. Wow. Ooh, I think I had a little bit more runway I could have used here. Oh well. Polar, that's a that's a uh, cargo flight, right? Runway is clear. Final is clear. And yeah, we're just a little bit late. That's not too bad. I'll make up for it. I promise I'll buy you guys an uh, extra slice of pineapple when we get to Hawaii. See, I'm even taking an intersection departure to make things, to make up for lost time there, downwind sim. All for you guys. Yeah, all for you guys. All right. A little bit uphill onto this <laughs> runway. Golly, there's some elevation changes on this thing, isn't there? Press that toga button. Doing it. All right, takeoff power is set. Engines are symmetrical. Everything's in the green. Airspeed is alive. Eighty knots checked. V one and VR. 
on departure flight. Positive rate. Gear coming up. Delta 816, radar contacts, altitude. At Delta 816, 1600. Delta 816, climbing TM level 340. 340, Delta 816. Just bias a little time here. I am uh, just going to fly the magenta line here, you guys. I'm just going to cheat a little bit. Okay, heading mode is selected. Altitude. Vehicle 11 cleared to the Minneapolis airport via the Strip 5 departure strip that is filed. Maintain 5000. Expect level 340. One zero minutes after departure. Departures this frequency. The pilot's coming seven, on. Seven, Go ahead okay. and Heavy start to make the turn here. We'll uh, cut the corner a little bit. Again, trying to save time. Trying to save time. Probably go ahead and grab the nav at this point in time, couldn't I? Yeah. That's going to be a little bit of an awkward catch up here, but we'll get there. Flaps are tracking. Should have them. I think they're up. Yep. Flaps are up. Gears up. Now we're catching it. All right. Now we're on our way. See you later. Cincinnati feels like we're really pitching up here. Yeah, we're kind of getting in a little bit of trouble here. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's let's level out a little bit, gain some airspeed, and go to 250. Then we'll throw on IAS mode. Yeah. I'm just going to let it come up to 250 on VS mode and then I'm going to toss it into IAS mode and we should be okay. I don't I don't know that all these waypoints are exactly right, but uh, it won't be long before we'll be up to cruise speed. I'll get over ten thousand here and I will toss it into uh, to VNAV. Then it'll follow the follow the FMC and we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. There we go. That's much much healthier pitch. Eddie, it does work really well. If uh, you can get you in trouble though, if you don't do things right in the in the right order. Yeah, it's a it's a busy it's a very busy departure sequence there, and it kind of takes a little while. But and I didn't do a great job. I, I I like to hop into VS mode pretty early after departure, but I uh, was a little too steep there. I was like 3,500 feet a minute, and it. That obviously was too much, as you could see. But we now are kind of at a spot. We're through 10,000, so we'll turn the lights off. We can go to BNAV mode. It'll just start to see automatically increase the speed. It'll pitch us down a little bit to, get, to get, gather some airspeed, and then it'll uh, start the climb out. We can go ahead and disengage the auto brake. One thing, whoops, uh, oh darn it. One thing I didn't do is, uh, we do have the downwind sim climb out view. Uh, but one other thing I forgot to do is I forgot to put the engines on continuous relight. Should have been down here on, uh, oh geez, I still have that starter valve open. Holy moly. All right. Uh, what else did I miss? But yeah, I should I should have had this down here on uh, on both or on override, but that's okay. No harm, no foul. All right. I'm just double checking here, and yeah, we're in good shape. So 
What I'm going to do is get up to uh, get up to cruise, which the altitude is set. We're on nav track. We're on VNAV climb. We're on uh, EPR climb right now. And um, yeah, then we'll then we'll redo our arrival there. Let's see. Let me get caught back up. A firm. Downwind sim is like Melvin's Ed McMahon. Yeah, <laughs> that is that's good, man. You're right. Welcome, by the way, Jay Smitty. If I didn't welcome you already, always great to have you, John. Okay, we're doing a nice job of holding our holding our climb speed here, and uh, it'll be a little bit of work up to 340, but this plane usually does pretty good if you can get the speed right early. Like if you're playing catch up, it's not good at that. November seven three four Mike. But, uh, uh, London altimeter is uh, three zero one two. You can get the speed right early. It responds pretty well. You know, the other thing I didn't do right there is uh, through some icing conditions, I probably should have had some anti-icing on. You know what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to turn those on just for a second, just in case we accumulated a little bit. This would be a really, really bad spot. Well, there's no good spot to have, have icing, to have the, but uh, pneumatics on. Ah, you're you right. Have to have the, you have to have the bleeds on first before you flip those Gosh. off. On. Turn the switches back off. Oh, oh, oh. You're right, you're right. Okay. I have a view here. There we go. On, on. No, those were the wrong switches. Oh, gosh. What? Wait. Not the cross feeds? What do I have to have on? Those are supposed to be on no, high. switches up on the overhead. Windshield, anti-fog, anti-ice, stay on. Engines come off. Oh, oops. And over 734, Mike, X-ray, uh, verify your squawking mode, Charlie, please. Yeah, anti-fog, anti-ice are on. Airfoil is off. Oh, no, they're not. They were off. Before you turn those switches on, you have to do the bleeds. Otherwise, you get that abnormal. Uh, where where are the bleeds at? Hey, Apple Center, can you see me now? In the center console, the tail end of the. Center. Okay, so okay. Like X-ray uh, radar contact six miles northwest of the London VOR. Remember that one um, So your uh, uh, type where aircraft and destination. And well, I did the I did the same thing just recently, so. Um, all right, so now again, I, I'm going to turn these on just in case I accumulated any ice. We'll see. We'll sleep on for a minute. Yep. So now there's no enunciator. Yeah. Uh, to the to the left. Yep. Nothing here that's bad, but those are all right. Good deal. Yeah. Hey. Huh. Yeah. Door seven three four. Mike X ray. In the enunciator panel. So. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're, Thank you're, you. You're Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, so you're a type aircraft destination and uh, requested altitude, please. Uh, okay, okay, Sierra okay. Uh, destination is Kilo Alpha Alpha Sierra and requested altitude is 4,500 feet. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> well, you and I both have, have done it. There's no doubt about it. Number 734, Mike X-ray, Roger. Thank you, and uh, proceed on a course. Maintain. Um, okay, back to business. I'm going to redo my route here, guys. Just give me a second here. So we were on the Lovey 6, L-O-V-E-Y 6, and just confirming that. Make sure that spelling is right, Lovey 6, yep, and CAD is C-A-D-I-Z. Charlie, Alpha, Delta, India, Zulu, Juliet 98, which we're not doing Juliet 98, Oscar Bravo Kilo, comma, K, 
Kilo Alpha, Mike Mike Alpha, Killer Three, which I think is KK. It's weird. It's a weird spelling. Uh, yeah, KKILR. KKILR three. All right, let me put that into everything here, and let's uh, let's see if we can make sure we get everything updated on Mr. FMC. Um, update this route on. This is where moving maps really helps. It does help. Okay, there we go. All right, now. Okay. All right, all right, that's better, that's better. Okay. He sounds like he knows he's in for a long night. <laughs> like he's like, all right, Hong Kong, like, uh, like Cincinnati to Hong Kong. That's uh, that's the next 14 hours of my life. All right, so just double checking here. We go out to Cadiz. That looks good. That is right there. And then from Cadiz, we're going up here to. OBK is Northbrook. Okay. They don't have that in there. So Caddis. All right. So what I need to do is put in. Back to the galley. I'll be back in a few minutes. Roger. OBK needs to go in right here. So that we have Caddis to OBK. Okay. And then, then we're to Badger. Okay. Sweet. All right. All right, there we go. And then now from Badger, then we're jumping on the Killer 3, which we don't actually have the Killer 3. So we're going to do the very, very best we can here, you guys. Um, I might be able to wing it. It should be comma. So we may need comma instead of BAE. Comma instead of BAE. And then Barry 1. Beery 1. I don't know how you say that. Uh, all right. Let me put this in here. OBK to comma. Oh, comma and Badger are the same. They're the same. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Okay, then, uh, then it's Barry, and it's Crispy, okay, then it's Nickel, nope, that's where it gets, um, okay, so Crispy, that's where it starts to get a little bit, a little bit, uh, different here, so. Sometimes you can you can work your way around these outdated um, these outdated uh, air act cycles, but it's definitely not definitely not ad, you know advisable to do this this way because sometimes you can't. So we need after after crispy. It's um, no after. I have traffic for you. You're uh, one to two o'clock, about uh, ten miles southwest bound. Five zero three two zero is a uh, A three twenty. Uh, looks like you'll pass behind him. Just uh, use caution. Okay, we'll look for that traffic. Delta uh, Delta eight sixteen. Yep. Am I seeing him yet? Six sixty eight traffic. You're eleven o'clock and uh, about eight miles now northwest bound. Climbing out of level three zero zero. He's going to go behind us, I suppose, so he should be out off of there if we do see him. Center doesn't think it's going to be an issue, so... All right. We'll keep our head up for... So f we're, we're good for a while, but we'll, we'll keep our head on a swivel here for just a little bit. Go ahead, 596. Okay, Express 596, contact Cleveland Center, 134.9. Point one three four point nine or Express five ninety six. Thank you. Delta eight sixteen. Just to maintain three one zero for now, please, for that traffic. All right. Uh, maintain three one zero. Delta eight sixteen. Okay. 
we just level off here and um, oh it's actually descending a little bit here 310 yeah, I don't see him There was some big velocity announcement regarding uh, X Pilot and Vatsim, and I didn't read that. Did anybody happen to read that? I'm hoping it says like uh, something like it's about to it's about to be a thing, because like in a situation like now, that would be pretty nice. So I think we probably are dealing with a little bit of lag and. That's that. This is this is the guy. Yep. Delta eight sixteen. The traffic's gonna be no factor. You can call and take three four zero. All right, on our way back up to three four zero. Delta eight sixteen. All right. I don't know what our climb was, but two thousand feet a minute ought to be good. Okay, back down to business here. We were so we need uh, Robbie. Then it's cable. Let's see if we have that. A lot of times you'll have the um, you'll have the waypoints, but they just won't be put together in in an actual arrival. Then zing. Just looking at the killer three. Yep. Then hander. Thanks for tonight. You can contact Chicago Center 127.77. 2277, uh, Delta 816, good night. That's uh, 2777. 2777, uh, Delta 816, see ya. Okay, we just found one waypoint that's not on there, so that's going to be one we'll have to, we'll have to fudge a little bit. But i tell you what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break out of the cockpit before we check in with Chicago. Let me take care of some business here. I'll be right back. Hold on, clear. Uh, much better, much better. Chicago Center, hello, Delta 816 at 340. Delta 816, Chicago Center, roger. All right, so we just, I came across, um, I came across a waypoint we don't have on this new arrival. Ah, point three four. hello, um,
confirms releases on the 31st and Fluidity also confirming that the release of it is imminent. That's that's great news. That would have helped in that situation because I'm pretty sure I would have probably saw that plane coming, but the Number leg is just uh, it's just tough. The, the uh, new velocity update for uh, X Pilot or for a VAT sim. Whatever, whatever that, what, whichever needs it, so that it has that update of five times per second or whatever. Yeah. All right. So I don't have. Um, I think there's some sound involved too. I think Slant Alpha. Uh, oh heck yeah, that'd be awesome. Perhaps. All right. So we're good up to Z. Wait. We're good up to Robbie Cable. We do not. We do not have Hender. What arrival did they assign you? It's the Killer 3, and I have the Killer 2, so I've just, I found one, I found one, maybe two uh, waypoints here, but it shouldn't be a big deal because they're in line, so I should be able to just uh, go straight to Killer. Gosh darn it. I showed 280 knots higher than... 12,000 at that point. Yeah, yep, uh, confirmed. So I so I have all of the waypoints except two on this initial part of the arrival. So that's that's pretty good. Alright. And again, this is the uh, quick and dirty way for to try to uh, <laughs> to try to get yourself on the correct arrival even though you don't have the correct air act cycle there we go so that'll help that'll help 290 so there's two there's two spots in between zing and killer that have altitude restrictions and speed restrictions so um well we'll just have to kind of that's what we'll have to look at on the moving map and just make sure that we're we're getting what we need to get at the spot that we're supposed to be and all that good stuff so let me see what the there's this is a two-pager so let me look at uh our nav. 14.3 miles to killer is uh, C-MAC. Okay. All right, so we've got killer. And then I want to go, hopefully we have Huggy, and we'll see. U G G. By, by hand. Yeah, and I'm, I'm guessing we have most of this already in, but uh, I'm just going to make sure we have everything. Crisp. Right, that's awesome. And then, so. You want to read me your FMC? I'm looking at the chart. Yeah, I'm just so I have Huggy in there, which I need to be at. Uh, looks like ten above three, ten. Three, yeah. Could actually put that in like that. Um. And then, uh, so now the question is, when I get to Crisp, is um, I wonder if they will take me up to Afton and down. There's the airport, and we're landing. We're landing on the three zeros, so we're landing this way. Or if they'll take me down here to Geek U. So let's see if. Um, Let's see what landing runway 303 right from Crisp. You're going to track 243, so they do. They take you down here to Geek U. All right, good deal. All right, so I'm going to put that. I'm going to put uh, Stewie in here. Hopefully, Stewie I have. Is a hard seven, and Geek U is a hard seven. Okay, 7,000. And up oh, that uh, change Crisp. Which is okay. Crisp is in between my Huggy and Stewie. And then, almost have it, guys. We're almost caught up here. Geek you. Oh, sorry. Let me get you back in the in the cockpit. Um, uh, geek you. Hey, take the map off. <laughs> there is a key for that. Or a command for that. I know. So, somebody give me a exclamation point map. Nobody, there's nobody still awake in my chat. What am I? I'm, I'm crazy. Tap, are you there. Again? 
Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much, Downwind Sim. All right, so that takes care of that, and now I can do this. Crispy goes away. Um, um, three zero right, three zero left, three zero right. I would prefer. I would prefer three zero left. It's on my side of the terminal area, so. I'm going to just take a look at ILS 30 left and just see. Okay, so I should have GQ, and then from GQ, I actually am going to intercept Pigsy. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. Hermes gone. Min 2 is gone. And, 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 and yeah, I've got to take all these out. This is all extra stuff here. Loon. Yeah, should be uh, should be Pigsies or Pigsy to Abes. Might have the wrong. Maybe I did three zero. Oh yeah. So let me do this. This will help. I can do an arrival to three zero left, and it'll overwrite all that business there. Three zero left is what I want. Zero left, ILS three zero left at Hasty. Is that what I want, Hasty? Um, well, actually, no. If I if I'm on GQ, I will not need Hasty, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, we're almost there, you guys. I know this has been uh, riveting stuff. GQ, then there's Abes. Okay, cool. So that looks right. Abes and then Narco. Yep, runway 30 left. And then let me just check my altitudes. And then we will step through it again because as you saw at the beginning, not everything looks like it should. Okay, that's good. 4,000 feet. All right, so here's where we're at. Holy cow, what a day this has been. And we're going to go to uh, uh, the plan mode. Whoops, that's not what we want. Sorry, plan mode. And we're going to zoom in here a little bit. Step through and just check from where we're at here. Continuing north. Then we turn to comma. We got a mess in there. Beer, Robbie, Cable, Zing, Killer, Huggy, Crisp. And then something after Crisp is not right. We don't need... Looks like we've got stew in there. Did I misspell stew? That must be what's going on, because you can see after crisp, it takes a big hard turn and heads back towards... S-T-U-W-E. Ah. S-T-U-W-E. That would explain it. So we'll get that one in, and we'll delete the misspelled one. Actually, I could have just done it this way. GQ here. Insert. Ah, much better, much better. And again, if there's if there's nothing else you remember from tonight's stream, it's the importance of stepping through your route, because holy moly, it's going to get busy here in just a little bit, and it's really really hard for the controller when uh, not only do I have an out of date air rack and I'm trying to land in a Saturday night op, but I may have an error in that air rack. So there's the disco. We'll, we'll be vectored from GQ. This is actually the arrival. So we'll get a radar vector and uh, grab the localizer, come into 30 left. And then we're out of there. That's the hold going north of the field. And that, my friends, is how you work around having old air act data. So it uh, that also can be done. It's not fun, as you saw right there. It takes some work. But um, All right, so we're heading to BVT. We've got six miles to go, and what's your uh, what's your waypoint that you're headed to right now? Uh, Bravo Victor Tango, and we're on our way out to the Caddies uh, intersection, which is the the edge of the departure there. All right. Well, hey, what do you know? What do you say? What do you know? That works. That works. Note to self. Update ERAC. Here's the crazy part, though. 
think I did. But somehow, the MD-80 didn't get updated. So maybe I don't have that. Maybe it somehow got unmapped. Potentially. No, rotate MD-80. Oh, it says ready to update. Somehow, for some reason, it did not get updated. Okay, so that's checked and ready. I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, uh, Active Sky updated. My uh, All my 747 E-Jet, everything updated. 11.5 for X-Plane updated. All the GNS, Flight Factor stuff, Aerobask stuff, all that stuff updated. But for whatever reason, Rotate did not. So that's ready to go when we get on the ground. Later on, I won't uh, mess around with it and... Because I don't know if, if like if you're flying the plane while it's trying to update if that might cause a problem too. So we can be patient with it. Double thumbs up. Bye bye. This old school Delta Liberty, man, it's so nice. I love it. I love it. This is one of the few planes that the outside livery matches the inside scuffs and dirt and wear and tear. I mean, this baby's been used. You can tell. Used and loved. I think it's time for another sip of ale. Chicago, Southwest, 1072, 360. Southwest 1072, Chicago, center low. Chicago, center south of 2638, level 360. Southwest 2638, Chicago, center low. Iowa Scotsman! Hello, my friend. Great to see you. Happy Saturday, buddy. Sure beats the new Lufthansa livery. Oh, come on, 0.34. That baby was nice. And I got to say it in a German accent the whole night. Lufthansa. Four, five, four. Lufthansa, four, five, four. Four, five, four. Lufthansa. Yeah, I don't know why I love Lufthansa. That was a uh, that was a crazy night, though, Tim. I mean, holy moly, was that a? Oh what? Oh gosh. I <laughs> just bumped my autopilot. Sorry, guys. Stand by. Uh, autopilot on reaching down for uh, something that fell on the ground and I bumped it. I bumped my trim, I think. Ah! There go. Got it. But yeah, that was uh, that was a crazy night into Dublin. You missed it. I think the VOD is still up. And we were running into gusty winds. Um, I think they were uh, gusting at 24 or something crazy like that. And uh, we had... We had four different wind shear warnings in the last, oh, what what would you say, about the last 10, 10 or 12 miles? It was it was definitely not only just a, uh, a go-around moment, but it should have been a divert moment, really, honestly. But I was just ready to be on the ground. <laughs> it's really not a, not a bad one. I'm just sour because they fixed what wasn't broken. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't break out that new fangled stuff very often, but every now and again it's fun. Fun to go over and fly in a different place in the world in a little bit more modern aircraft. How did you take the yellow out of the lefty? <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... So... It's kind of interesting that you talk that you mentioned that point three four because there's some people that I think confuse the DHL cargo livery with Lufthansa livery because the Lufthansa call sign is DLH, and so I like you're you're talking about yellow liveries, which has nothing to do with Luf, Luf, the Lufthansa livery, but it did remind me of I do one of the one of the neatest planes out there from the A three hundred is that. That yellow and red left on, or <laughs> that yellow and red DHL livery, and I, the last time I flew it, like half the controllers I talked to you called me Lufthansa and half called me DHL, and it was just crazy. So um, 
I need to fly it again because it does cause. Delta 816, contact Chicago Center 120.35. 12035 Delta 816, we'll see it. See ya. It causes some wonderful commotion amongst controllers. Chicago, uh, Delta 816 at 340, hello. All right, let's take a quick look at the Volanta top of climb report, and we are, here we are. Okay, very cool. Yeah, we're just about to Chicago. We're going to kind of buzz right through Chicago and up here to Minneapolis. I can go ahead. I'll put in the uh, VATSIM route. It's not going to match up exactly with what we're doing, although it's going to be pretty close. That rock solid departure there, man. Not too bad. Hand flew most of that and hopped in auto. Auto kind of helped me get squared away. Let's see that baby in 3D. Kind of a kind of a cool effect, I think. Chose to climb out. Chicago Center Delta 1025. Good evening. All right, let's go up. I know you guys are all dying to uh, see what's going on. Chicago, maybe, even. Going to get busy. Midway, not too bad, doesn't look like. Uh, and there's no chance I can go buck. Chicago's busy already. They're not even a featured airfield, but they've got 34 arrivals and 35 departures. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably just a typical night for Chicago. Hey, by the way, Downwind Sim, we if when you have some time, I really want to work through that uh, that runway. I think it was the arrival bug into Chicago. I have not flown into O'Hare in forever because I'm afraid I'm going to have a sim crash because of that bug. So, if if you could have your people get with my people, uh, we could get that figured out. All right, let's see what's going on. 90 arrivals. Your nav data has to match what X plane 23 departures. It's supposed to have. If I recall right, I have to go yeah. look at what I posted. But, yeah. Um, I know you had the solution, so that's. But I just keep forgetting about it until I fly by Chicago, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, I gotta, I gotta reach out to Downwind Sim. All right, so like we expected, here's the sectors around Minneapolis. That are uh, coming into to the fold here. Uh, Salt Lake Center may or may not, but you can fly from Denver, St. Louis, Memphis. Out of St. Louis going to Memphis. Yeah, that's awesome. How many departures did we have out of St. Louis? Fourteen. Heading out of there. Still need to look at that updated scenery. It looks really nice. There's a new payware. Okay, you need to move back about five rows so that I'm sitting right next to the engine. So I initially I had it. There's only one row left, and I did have it back there, but I'll show you why I took it off. Yeah, because you can't see anything. I mean. Uh, I'm all for realism here, but I want I want a nice I want a I know. What's this? <laughs> Nothing but engine. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so here is the. Here is that payware St. Louis, and uh, I think this looks pretty nice. I currently have the freeware that you can get off the org store, which is also pretty nice, but I also realize 
that um, Downwind Sim has been um, doing some work on uh, on his. So is this a new one? I don't. I, actually, I don't know if this is the new one or not. And then there's a scenery, uh, a city scenery pack too that you need, right? Uh, you don't need it, but that's free. Hello, two twenty three Chicago Center, climate maintained for level two nine zero for zero normal speed. Yeah, City X, I think I've got that one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we've got here. And that that does that is nice because the airport's just right up here, just off screen. So it's nice you fly right by the arch. Yeah, it's really it's nice. Top of that picture. Yep. So if you're flying out of St. Louis, that's what you want. And again, the uh, this this one here, um, this one from the forum is is the one I have, and it's very good. Joe Rocco did a nice job with it. That one's close, but it's got some skyscrapers. And taller building. Blue 121 currently passing uh, 10,300 feet. It's on my short list of sceneries to grab here at some point. Yeah, that, I kind of like doing that. I, I like just to wait to see what comes on sale. Yeah, point three four. That's the joke, as you probably know, is you always have to have that last seat on the right-hand side reserved for downwind sim. The worse the view, the more likely it is he's back there. Uh, you know what I have for uh, reroute, change the destination to uh, Midway. Because yeah, that's always the same. Okay, because he put the tank three. That's the change of destination. So the flight three alpha flight extract cleared to uh, Midway Airport via whatever Cleveland beside you. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, terribly uh, sorry, terribly sorry. Uh, like he gave me uh, gonna be the next, direct uh, bagel uh, and uh, paint free for Midway. Yeah, it's winning uh, uh, by a landslide right now, like 75% to 12% to 12%. Yeah, you can't you can't go that far without flying that, that baby. So, you see the straw pull right there, by the way, you guys, if you are... <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Hey, there's Hawker. What's going on, Hawker? Welcome. Hawker 125 is here. So, yeah, if you don't know, I'm, I'm doing a little uh, Bravo tour, and um, that was kind of nice. Uh, that little straw pole that just that just floated by there, it has the uh, it has the three airports that are in the running to take me from Andrews Air Force Base to Las Vegas. And you've got five days still to vote, but right now you can see that uh, that the 747 is is way ahead, six to one to one, right now. So um, it looks like that might be our our aircraft du jour. But you can click on that that straw poll link there and, and toss your votes in. I'd love to love to know what you're thinking there. Whether you want the uh, whether you want that 747 or you want a back-to-back, -back. we just did the 757. We did okay with that one. If you want to see that one again, we can do that. Maybe some passenger variant or something. Or the A300 is always a great choice. They just had an update with that, and I'm itching to fly that baby. So, yeah, the Queen is what Hawker's saying. Well, Hawker, get in there, man. If you if you missed it, it'll uh, the link is right here. Get in there. Your vote counts if you haven't already voted. We do that about, uh, well, I've been trying to do about twice a month where we fly from one Class Bravo airport to another. It's really downwind Sims idea, and I stole it. And uh, not proud of that, but having fun with it anyway. But uh, we've so far we've flown from Denver. Let me see if I can remember them all. Denver down to Nellis Air Force You're Base. Welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Denver to Nellis, which is actually right there by... 
Las Vegas. That was our first leg, actually. Center fuel pressure is low. That means we're out of fuel in the center. Um, but uh, then we went from Nellis to... Went from Nellis up to Minneapolis St. Paul, and then we went down to Houston Hobby, and then um, and we went from Hobby to Orlando, and then Orlando up to Andrews. That's kind of where we've been so far, and I think five episodes. Yep, Hawker voted the other night, and uh, yeah, just just I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna lean with Downwind Sim and say maybe the per the Queen was your vote as well. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a couple of other airplanes that I'm going to start to get in the rotation a little bit here. I, I just have to figure out what leg to put them on. Like, um, like the the Aerosoft CRJ 700 or 500 is is a fun one. Would be fun to do. Um, also over in Microsoft Flight Sim that uh, that DC6. I haven't flown the DC6 in a long time. That'd be a lot of fun as well. Um, but uh, those would be a couple good planes to take into a Bravo. Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We've got all kinds of options and all kinds of of airports still to hit. So a Go ahead, sir. So a quick story about sitting in the back row of an MD-80. If you look at the throttles, every little micro movement of the throttles up in the cockpit i mean you know the auto throttles list always kind of a little bit more a little bit less a little bit more a little bit less right all the all the time well sitting right next to that engine you hear every single change and so if you try to sleep or whatever ain't gonna happen <laughs> just all the time I envy the fact that you got to actually ride in one of these in real life, man. That's so awesome. A lot. 3345. Yeah. I used to hate flying American Airlines because the staff was so rude, and I always got stuck in this back seat. Um, but it's part of – it's now the nostalgia factor. So I, I love yeah. flying the thing in the sim. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I get it, man. I mean, um, it's, uh, I don't have to ride in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> That's the view right there. That's it. I love it. I totally love it. <laughs> All right, we're going to, we're going to reset my view just, just. In honor of you, we're not going to worry about uh, cinematics. We're just going to put it here right for you, buddy. Mitty says he can sleep anywhere. You underestimate a former soldier's ability to sleep. <laughs> Friend to all, I, uh, you may have been blessed by being in the safest part of the plane over there, over the black boxes. <laughs> That's true. It's reinforced back in that area there. Friend to all, welcome. Great to see you. Well, see, there you go. I, did, I had no idea that those were there. <sighs> Again, for those of you that are um, curious as to the beverage of choice tonight, it is a rare Belgian black ale. Um, I think the can says 1883 on it, so uh, pretty old. Pretty old. I uh, can't quite, I don't speak Belgian. Uh, Dra, dra, pepper, dra pepper. Sounds almost more like French there, but uh, oh, friend all just made it up. Friend all, I that's why you fit right in, man. You just roll right with it, and we believe you, man. You come across as a guy that knows what he's talking about, like that, uh, like Tom Selleck in that uh, life insurance commercial. I've been around. I know what's what. I trust him. Hi. Ah, thank you. A refill. Look at that. Look at that crazy Arby's what? cup. What? what do we have? What? All right. I got a refill on my beverage. To the stream desk. 
Delta 816, proceed direct to Barry, and then rejoin the killer for your arrival. Direct Barry, and then uh, rejoin the arrival Delta 816. Full service here at Melvin Leroy Airlines, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yep. That's how you do it right there, guys. <laughs> My ears perked up with that Belgian talk. Yeah, 0.34. I, it's, uh, it's been a high caffeine type of evening and a uh, low alcohol content evening. I'm currently in a, I'm doing an intermittent fast and today's a, a fast to to day. All right, yeah, we're John. Stuck on this. We're stuck on this freight train to Minneapolis. John, I'll be there. I promise. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on the ground at Minneapolis and uh, teleport myself out there. So I'll I'll miss the briefing, obviously. Tell Eric and the crew that I'll that I'll be there though, and um, looking forward to flying out there as well, kind of doing a little double header. So I'll be just a bit late, but that'll give all you guys a chance to get out of uh, Hilo, and uh, I won't have to wait on you. Won't have to breathe your your uh, ab gas fumes. Enjoy. Thanks for coming by, Smitty. Yep, point three four. Anybody who is uh, here and has forgotten the no, virtual the USA the Flying Club does have a an event going on at in Hawaii, and it starts at the top of the hour. So if you want to get out there and get that uh, flight briefing, now you want to head that way, get fired up, whatever you plan on flying, and um, we will also be heading that way. But, uh, I mean, we I just couldn't resist. Couldn't resist the Mad Dog. Couldn't resist flying into Minneapolis-St. Paul. Brings back so many good memories of uh, visiting family in Minneapolis and going out to that airport. A lot of, a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I concur. It looks like uh, got somebody that just jumped off of here. Delta seventy five eighty six resume normal speed. Yep, I think you're right, buddy. That's not too bad. And if it wasn't a Hawaii night, I would probably just uh, try to do a quick turnaround, head down to St. Louis. But um, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll have some fun. We'll fly out, fly out to uh, to the Hawaiian Islands. We'll not fly out to the Hawaiian yeah, Islands, but fly in Hawaii, the Hawaiian Hawaii, Islands. Listen, I hear the beaches of St. Louis are fantastic this time of year, but I don't know why. I just I'm leaning towards Hilo, Molokai. Yeah, they're cold this time of year. There's a group of people that go water skiing on New Year's Day every year in the Mississippi, right, right off, right from, across from the arch. Just to say they're the first ones to go. Is does the miss does it ice up at all? It has, yep, it has. Yeah, or ice skiing, yeah. Not ice skating, friend of all water skiing. Yeah, he said ice skiing. Oh, ice skiing. <laughs> I gotcha. Yep. Get a snowmobile and, and pull him along the back there. All right, has it kind of, it's got my top of descent in there, but I think we're we're not going to worry about that. We're going to listen to ATC, which will be really really helpful, as it always is. Three three point four five nine or Golf Whiskey, good night. Blue one twenty one, kind of Cleveland Center one three four point nine. One three four point nine is your blue one twenty one. Polar nine fifty eight, kind of Minneapolis Center one three three point four five. Three three four five four nine five eight, good night. Guess that's going to be us. Thirty-three forty-five. You still on track for Kama? Or are you direct somewhere? I was. Oops. I was given a little shortcut there. It looks like I'm direct Beery now. Oh, nice. 
I got to cut the corner just a little bit there. Perfect. Yeah, it gets us out to gets us to the beach quicker, man. Oh, how I hope there's snow in X-Plane 12. Okay, I want to just take a look here. Direct Robbie, Delta 816. All kinds of shortcuts here, man. He's trying to get me out in front of these guys, isn't he? Doggone right. Chicago Center United, 1112, flight level 340. I could probably, well, I, can, I was going to say, probably speed it up a little bit, but I really can't. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm close to the barbershop as it is. So I think maybe what I need to do is let's, uh, let's brief this arrival. And um, an approach. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're we're a little boys out yet, but right, so we're we're coming into uh, Robbie now. Yeah, so we got all kinds of shortcuts, I think. All right, it's the Killer Three. Now, I already have these altitudes set, so I'm not going to go back and check those again, but this is just a reminder here. So, comma, Beery, Robbie, that's where we're heading right now. We'll be outbound 309 for 26 to cable. We'll make a little bit of a left-hand turn, 293, and then we'll have our first altitude restriction. We're above 290 at Zing. These are the two waypoints I don't have in uh, Hender and C-Mac. So we're going to have to just look on, at our moving maps and make sure we're, you know, this, this shouldn't be a big deal because basically from Zing to Killer, it's, uh, you know, about 293 or 292. You, you can see it's a slight, like, one degree difference here and there, but it's going to be close enough to get us where we need to be. Um, but we do need to be down above 12 and at 280 at Killer for this first part of the arrival. And then Delta seventy five eighty six are you using real weather or custom weather? And then we come here to Huggy above ten to crisp. We're expecting uh two forty three heading and seven thousand hard altitude at stew, seven thousand and two ten at Geek U. Ooh, I better check the speed there at Geek U. 210. I'll check that one in just a second. And then we're hoping for 30 left. It'll be visual, but uh, we'll have the ILS dialed in. We're coming off a of Giku here on a 266. We'll need to get down to 4,000 here for ABES. And then the uh, localizer is going to be 110.3. 301. I don't have those entered in. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. We have, um, let's see, missed approach has climbed to 1,300, and then uh, a 301 heading up to 3,000 out to the Minnesota, the uh, Minneapolis VOR DME Chicago on the, area, uh, actually out uh, there on the 298 to the Waxer, Waxab, sorry, intersection, and go for yeah, so that's just north of the field there, about 11.8. We'll hold at 3,000. All right, all right, all right. All that looks good. One last thing, if we get on the ground here safely, 3-0 left, we'll be making a right-hand turn off, hopefully before this crossing runway here, probably down here, Charlie Bravo area. And our gate is gate 
Gulf 12, which is right in the middle of this part of Terminal 1. Alright, I gotta check that one speed restriction. Delta 2551, think it was Giku, I needed to be 210. Is that right? Yep. Thank you. Down one sim. Put that in there. Okay, perfect. And. You got 280 a killer? 280 and 12. This really should be 12 or above, and this should be 290 or above. But again, it's if I was descending without ATC, I would worry about that a little bit more. But since I'm coming in, uh, best forward uh, for Delta 816. Let's see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Do you have the real weather working or no? Roger, try recycling it, because uh, uh, you're still really fast. You should be, uh, yeah, the jet stream both here. I can start the day now. Would go about right there, I think. I don't, I'm not dragging flaps or anything, right? Like, uh, we're doing okay. Flaps are up. After zero gears up. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's fine. A little more. Uh, we've got 288 dialed in. We're doing about 253, 254. That's going to be about the best we can do, I guess, you guys. We had to pack those extra downwind sim pies. Holding us up. <laughs> That'll take care of that. Unfortunately, that doesn't change the overall cargo weight, though, I don't think. If, if they're sitting in cargo or in your belly, I don't think that changes anything. Oh, really? Oh. I don't know. I, I'm no physics teacher. <laughs> and there's no math on this flight. <laughs> well, yeah. that you can't go any faster. Delta 1979. Me too. I don't know. I don't know. What is, um, what speed button did you push up there? Chicago Center, Western 1033, checking in, flight level 360, smooth right. On your autopilot, uh, console. Whatever they call that. I think I should go uh, speed select. Chicago Center, November 899, Sierra Bravo is passing 12,000, climbing 15,000. November 899, Sierra Bravo, Chicago Center, climb of 18, level 280. Flight level 280 for 899, Sierra Bravo. It's on auto throttle. Uh, 0.763 is what the. FMS is saying, is that what you're indicating? Well, I... Butter cake sounds good, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Delta 210, turn right heading 350, vector for sequence. Actually, Delta 210, your, disregard that, you can see that. airspeed indicating 7754. You got everything retracted, right? Gears up, flaps are... Uh, flaps are up, boilers are stowed. Yeah, I don't know. It it does seem weird though that I'm only able to do Mach 0.75 with this plane because this plane usually will really get up and go. Delta 75, 86, say Mach number. Uh, Mach 
seven eight for Delta seventy five eighty six. Delta seventy five eighty six. Appreciate that, Robbie. At Robbie, there's a big level three rebel. Eighteen buck point seven five. But they're next to the speed selecting. Direct Robbie, and what was that arrival? Robbie, three join the killer three. So the eighteen buck point seven five. Okay. So I put it on EPR climb. And uh, none of those is really giving me anything. It's not. Yeah, Hawker, it's the rotate sim, MD80. Yeah. Um, so if you do mock select. Yeah, that that. The, there the button. That hasn't cha the, changed anything. The button just pushed in. Oh, now it's point seven five four. Scott, it's not good evening. This is Ranger seven hundred with you. Five level three four zero. I'm spinning it, but it's just not chasing it. Like, it's the N1 doesn't change a bit. Um, I'm doing 94% on the N2, 91 on the N1. I just don't know that I have any more for whatever reason. I have that aircraft, and uh, it's slow. I can never get that thing to move with any speed. Yeah, Hawker, usually you'll be able to, like, I mean, it's not, like, ultra fast, but, but like, I should be able to go from 0. 0.75 up to 0. 0.878. I mean, that's, I don't know what's going on here. Don't know what's going on. I was thinking maybe try boost pump just for fun. I was thinking maybe I could just change my, uh, my cruise um, limit here, but I I just can't. Might, maybe I can go uh, 0 0.78 on the mock, maybe. Yeah, see, that's not changing anything. So, could I do can this? Can you put that in on a leg, on a, on a leg waypoint? Delta 816, are you currently doing your best forward? Yeah, we're we're uh, we're just about as fast as we can go. We're working on seeing if we can squeeze a little more out of it. Okay, that did. Chicago Center United, ten ninety four, climbing uh, nine thousand nine hundred to one five fifteen thousand. That, that did go in, but uh, for whatever reason, it's not really changing anything. Got the bleeds off. You're not bleeding air into the thing, right? You got every everybody's going as much as they can. Yeah. Okay. Delta seventy five eighty six maintain Mach point seven three if unable advised. Give it her only she's got cap. Uh, we can maintain Mach point seven three delta seventy five eighty six. I, I'm the hold up the line guy now. Here he was. He, he gave me all those uh, shortcuts. <laughs> now I'm just slowing everybody down. Let's take a look at the Volanta touchdown report. It won't let me do that. Well... I don't know. I don't know what's you going on. Off, off your uh, right hand side that's kind of Charlie 427 contact Cleveland Center 134.9. I should be fairly well sequenced. I mean, I got a guy you, you're seeing this uh, A320 coming Charlie in here, right? Got a video Center 133.45. 3345 Delta 816. See it. All right, guys, we're starting to get uh, starting to get a little busy. Minneapolis Delta eight sixteen three four zero. Hello. I'm that guy. I'm gonna be that guy tonight. That's okay. That's okay. I've had plenty of these events where I've like been slowed down by some some old geezer flying flying the mad dog back in my day 
Point seven four was pretty doggone fast. That's three quarters of the speed of sound, Sonny. Actually, back in my day, we had sonic booms because everybody got to go Mach 1.2 or whatever. That 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 ethanol gab gas that you guys have in those airplanes anymore, you just don't get the performance. <laughs> Practice it out, but it's talk when I'm in my nineties. Okay. Yeah, I don't know honestly what uh, I don't know what else I could do here. The SR seventy one Blackbird Blackbird is due to be released in fussy pants this year. That'll be an interesting plane. Holy cow, talk about a talk about a speed demon. Oh, and the Concorde? Nice. That might get that might get uh, down one sim excited about Microsoft Flight Sim. He may go try to find disc one and get that baby updated. <laughs> I'm still looking for disc one. Maybe the dog ate it. <laughs> Good fixings. Brett, welcome. I'm out. I'm heading out there just as soon as I get down on the ground here, buddy. I think I need to lay off the Dr. Pepper. Good evening, Delta 7586 with you, flight level 320. Delta 7586, Minneapolis, over. Center Delta 1495, passing 12,400 for 17,000. I go. I better go fix my million dollars and, uh, who is before we have to go start. Delta 1495. I didn't hear that last part. I said I better go fix. Better go fix my. Delta 1495, Minneapolis Center 134.25. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sure. I'll I'll be back on in a couple minutes. All right. Sounds good. Well, don't screw anything up. <laughs> Oh, they talked Fixie into working ATC, so you hit sitting there enjoying the calm before the storm. Are you doing um, what? What part of the of the event are you doing down there, Fixie? Let's go stock good fixings. Delta 983, contact Minneapolis approach 135.47. 3547, no, no. Tower. Are you tower power down here? Publish speeds of killer. What are you? There's two five zero, then publish speeds of killer. Niner golf was easy. Where is he? Where is that guy? ATC. ATC. There's ground. There's Mal Molokai Tower. All right. Yep. P A M K. Delta 983, Minneapolis approach 135.47. Very nice, Brett. Well, hey man, I uh, <clears throat> I am gonna be down there. I do. I uh, I promise. I'm gonna be down there. I just need to get into. Um, yeah, we're just about there. We're going to land. We're going to transport real quickly, teleport. And uh, I'm looking okay, forward to it. I, I haven't flown Hawaii in Microsoft Flight Simulator in quite a while. The last couple times I've been down there, I was down there in X-Plane, so I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably switch to Hilo or Kona. Okay. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yep, I just have not been able to... I don't know why. That should not be out of our reach. Delta 816, descend via the Killer 3 arrival, runway 30 right. Descend via Killer 3 and 30 right, Delta 816. Mike Golf Whiskey, Minneapolis approach 135.47. 35.47, Niner Golf Whiskey, good night. Well, so now I really do have to have the top of drop in there. That's coming up. I can't even see it. Maybe I'm past right now. 
All right. Well, let's see. Maybe it's time to start heading down. Um, we need to be down to 10. Okay, I'm going to start down. What the heck? That'll speed us up a little bit. All right, 10,000. We'll hold Mach uh, decimal 78. Start down here. We'll use our descent banana to try to get down to 10,000 at Huggy. So you can see right now we're descending way too quickly. So let's let everything get sort of mellowed out here and let the... Minneapolis Center, Delta 2681, flight level 360. Delta 2681, Minneapolis Center. Delta 7586, turn right 340, vector traffic. Heading up 340, Delta 7586. I honestly don't really need to start down already, but... We'll just do a gradual, gradual descent here. It, uh, real life stormy down there in Hawaii, good fixings. It looked kind of like it was. Um, how's this landing going to be in comparison to our 737? Like, oh, hopefully better. Pentagon, hopefully better. I think the weather's better to begin with, and um, but a tougher plane to land, I think, in my opinion. Harder for me anyway to land. So we'll find out. Find out. Actually, pretty nice and white today. Okay, cool. Now, I just did a practice flight, though. I should say this there, uh, Pentagon. I did a practice flight earlier today, and I took it down to Atlanta, and here's what I did. Down Hot Atlanta, put her down at 197, and about a G and a quarter, so that was pretty good. 133 on the landing speed. That was pretty good. So that's that's about as well as I can land this plane. Anything under or really around 200 is is um, November five zero contact is pretty Congress good for me. The 1.22, yeah, Pentagon. That was what I was happy about. Chicago one two zero point three five five zero telecom. So I'm usually, yeah, I'm usually you know 250 to 350 in this plane. And about one and a half G's. That's usually my typical. Two right two niner. I'll be above two niner zero here at Zing. Yeah, I'll be pretty darn close. Contact mid, uh, correction, Chicago Center 120.35. 120.35, uh, Air India 1058. All right, right now it's information Juliet. Delta 210, turn left, right, zing. Altimeter 2986, runway 30 right. Kind of takes us far side of the airport, but right, it's not too bad. It must be departing 30 left. Everybody he's landing right now is 30 right. Either that or they're putting the arrivals coming from the west on 30 left. Could be. Delta 2551, Minneapolis approach 135.47. 3547, Delta 2551. That's going to be us here in a minute. 35.47. XP Knutson. Delta 816, what's your present speed in knots? Oh, just shy of 300 knots, Delta 816. Delta 7586, what's your present speed in knots? XP Knutson. 285 for Delta 75. January 31st is what I hear as well, man. I saw that uh, teaser sorry, video. That looks, that looks uh, well, the video I haven't watched yet, but the buzz around Delta everything looks awesome. Yeah, really looking forward to that. XP Knutson, welcome, by the way. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Closer, 
Hey, man. See you, Tom. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Slow down that age, 1985. <laughs> that whiskey's going to get expensive, yeah. I'm going to have to make another bathroom break. That's the worst part of me drinking all this Dr. Pepper. Minneapolis Center, United 845 is at flight level 300. United 845. Actually, we're a little over 300. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, we need to be Echo Zulu 102 Mini. 10 at Huggy. So now we're starting to come in here. So let's uh, increase the rate of descent here. See if we can get our descent bubble back in here. 10,000 at Huggy. We need to be above. Really? Really, really? Yeah, all right. Okay, so we could probably go about 18. Good shape, I think. The mini center, good evening. It's Air Canada Niner Niner One. I'm gonna Canada try Canada. to. <laughs> Sorry, Coca Cola and root beer. Yep. All right, what they're talking about, Knutson, is my vintage 1883 ale that I'm uh, drinking right now. So that's uh, that's what I'm drinking. My dark, my dark ale. <laughs> I don't know who I'm fooling. Everybody who knows me knows that's generally what's in the what's in the old uh, pint. So that's all right. For some reason, your speed just doesn't seem to match everybody in front of you. So we're gonna have to do 260 knots now. XP Knutson is doing some X-plane add-on works. What uh, do tell downwind sim? What uh, what work has Tom been doing? XP Knutson says Dr. Pepper. Longer than I have, been done a lot of cool stuff. Share links, my friend. I'd love to see what he's done. I, there may be something that I have or I need. Just, Dr. Uh, Pepper is just Coke and root beer. I'm a little uh, busy. That's. I thought that's what Ed McMahon was supposed to be doing. All right, XP Knutson, I'm gonna look you up. You've got a name that uh, that I like because it has very much a uh, very much a Nordic heritage like. Uh, ring to it. X-plane forums. Overspeed. Back it off a little bit here. See if we can. Let's do this. Alright. We're looking for you, X-plane or uh, XP Knutson. All right, I I gotta fly the plane. I can't be researching. Sorry. <laughs> we'll toss a board out here. Down below the barber pole, if we can. Still looking good in terms of our altitude here. There we go. Downwind Sim found it. Thank you, Downwind Sim. Tom Knudsen. Pro lights. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think I have the pro lights. Runway slope calculator. Little uh, Norwegian livery. Awesome, dude. Okay, I'm looking forward to looking through your page there, Tom. I, uh, it's nice to have such a celebrity aboard. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, hope you're having a great Saturday. Maybe it's Sunday if you're over in uh, Norway. Uh, for one, X-Plane did a library installer, Orbic Scenery, 
Flight one ground environment back in the day. Nice, nice. Tons of repaints, runway slope calculator, so on. Forgot it's been. You've been developing since 98. Well, my friend, here's a, uh, a Coke and root beer Stella, toast to you. Killer, approach, Published uh, at Killer and over to Approach, Delta 816. Have a good night. All right, so hang on here, guys. I gotta, I gotta fly here. 280. Gotta get down to 280. And Minneapolis River. Let's back it off here. Delta 2469. Uh, try Minneapolis on 3425. Okay, let's get a check in here. Minneapolis approach, hello, Delta 816, descending through 180 on the Killer 3 with Juliet. Delta 816, Minneapolis approach, expect ILS runway 30 right approach. Expecting ILS 30 right, Delta 816. Darn it. Zero right. I'm not going to do the uh, transition because that took me way out of the way. Iku Sam 2, I need to confirm that. Sam 2, 3, 5. Right. Yep, Sam Z, sorry, Sam Z. Yep, that's Sam's. <laughs> Probably that's how you pronounce that. Pro tip. Trying to slow down to 280 here at Killer. Okay. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to level off just a bit to get down to 280. Which means we will be above 10 at Huggies. But. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Oh, all right. Yeah, hey, and thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, stop on by later on. I fly Tuesdays, Saturdays, or Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays about this time. So it'd be great to great to chat with you more and get to know you. You'll enjoy my uh, community. It's the best part of my stream. So um, take care, buddy. Nice to meet you as well. There we go, golly. I resumed the descent here, but I can't be too uh, crazy with it here. All right, we have uh, altimeter setting I need to put in. It is 2986. Falling behind the aircraft just a little bit. Caught back up. Uh, seat belts are on. All my okay, lights are on. I drop. 301 degrees. 1070. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 301. Okay. That's set for the uh, ILS. Speed's coming down. 280 is what we want. 280, not 270. All right. Minneapolis approach. American 49. Uh, the Bloom 4 arrival approaching Bloom. And we'll pick up the uh, speed at Bloom. American 49, Minneapolis approach. Expect ILS runway 30 left approach. All right. I think we're doing pretty good here, you guys. I think we're doing pretty good. Which so was supposed to be on below, also. I just, re just realized that. Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and go. Let's come off. Hey, Vertical Sim. Good to see you, man. Can't arm the uh, uh, auto brakes just yet because I need flaps, but I can set the engine ignition to override. Good to see you, sir. I love your emotes there, my friend.
been a while since I've done a breakfast stream. You threw that little coffee cup out there, man. It kind of reminds me I need to do a breakfast stream here one of these days. Just about did one this morning, honestly, but I just, just couldn't quite get out of bed in time. <laughs> We are on the Killer 3 arrival, by the way, you guys, into Minneapolis-St. Paul's part of the Operation Deep Freeze. It's one of two flights we're going to do tonight. We're going to get in here to Minneapolis-St. Paul, then we're going to head transport magically across to Hawaii, and we're going to join the Virtual USA Flying Club's Hawaiian Luau. Go ahead and start Plus cranking back to 250 here. I can't really hear you over ATC, man. Two ten, southwest one twenty-two. Delta eight sixteen, turn left, heading two three zero back to the final approach course to set up eighteen seven thousand. Two three zero down seven thousand, Delta eight sixteen. All right, down to seven. That's where we're heading. We're going to go ahead, and we need to get our speed down to 210. Drift flight 460, contact Minneapolis approach 126.9 or 5. It's going to take a minute to get down there so we can just keep our descent here. I think we're at a pretty good 1,800. So, yeah, that looks good. So. Southwest 1122, contact Minneapolis approach 126.9 or 5. 2695, sorry about that, southwest 122, see ya. Frontier Flight 460, uh, contact Minneapolis approach 126.9 or 5. Looking for 458. Uh, no, Frontier Flight 460, probably already switched though. Thank you, good call. Delta 816, descent or 18, 4000. 4000, Delta 816. Okay, speed's coming down nicely, you guys. We're doing good. We'll be 210. Nudge that up just a little bit. Second notch of flaps coming in. You're at 110.7 and 301 degrees. Roger. Roger. Oh, gosh. Delta 816, turn left, heading 190. One nine or zero, Delta eight sixteen. Gosh dang, I didn't quite get, didn't get down quite as fast as he needed me to, so that's why he's vectoring me just slightly. He'll probably just take me through the localizer just just a little bit and then bring me back in on the other side. Um, we can. We could go down a little bit more steeply, I guess, but I don't think I will. I think we'll be fine. Radio check. Loud and clear. You're looking good. You got tons of traffic. Approach approach Delta 210. We'll be at 16,000. 14,000. Yeah, I mean, I didn't miss the the marks on the descent there, but I just think sometimes you get, I don't know, it's it's tough to sort it all out. 1930, we'll see, 816. Frontier flight 458, hit to change the transition back. You're going to do the ILS to 30 left now. Listen back, 30 left, no worries. 30 right, maintain 170 knots, still a 5 mile final. Delta 816 on the approach 30 right, hello. Delta 816, Minneapolis approach, Roger, turn right heading 270. Right turn 270, Delta 816. Delta 2551, we got traffic. I'm sorry, who's that calling? Delta 2551. Delta 2551, Roger. Delta 2551, follow that traffic, clear visual pressure, right 30 right, maintain 170 knots, still a 5 mile final. 
170 to 5, follow traffic, clear visual fees, you're right, Delta 2551. Okay, that'll go first, you turn right, heading 27. Alright, I'm trying to get right, the localizer. tower put in here, 2670. Runway 30 right, localizer, Niner Golf Whiskey. Delta 816, maintain 23 zero knots. 230, 816. Oh, they didn't even take me through the localizer. I think we're okay. Look, fail. It must not. I must still be a little too far out. Coming back up to 2:30. I think we are. Come on, girl. Yeah. Delta 519, maintain 190 zero knots. Yeah, we're doing 190. Delta 19. Delta 1979. Can't remember that. Did you get your first clearance? You did, 1979. Thank you, November 9th, Golf Whiskey traffic at your 1 o'clock, 5 miles, northwest bound is a 737 at, at the 4000 report of site. Looking in Niner Golf Whiskey, we'll take that back. We don't have the ILS localizer yet, Niner Golf Whiskey. Okay, Niner Golf Whiskey, roger. Okay, Niner Golf Whiskey, turn right heading 2, Niner's correction, turn right heading 300. Why does it look like there's a little bit of snow down here? Let's just be snow ortho I got. I don't remember that being that way. Alright, there's 230, 4,000. Got uh, two notches of flaps in. We're nice and stable. Okay, lights are on. Towers, tower frequency set. Medium auto brake. I can't arm it quite yet, though, I don't think. Nope. That'll be fully configured. I don't have the localizer yet, uh, Delta 816. Delta 519, turn right heading 210. Heading 210, Delta 519, turn right, heading he's he's going to vector us a little bit here and uh, probably let sort some traffic out in front of us as well which that's okay I don't that's fine we're, we're a team player here that's good it's right over there but I don't <laughs> I could fake and call the field, no, but I really yet. can't. Oh, there it is. It just popped in. Niner Golf Whiskey. Turn Niner Golf Whiskey. Intercept the localizer. Remain north of the localizer. And, uh, and yeah, that traffic ahead is 737-900-4000. Traffic in sight. Niner Golf Whiskey. Intercept the localizer. 3 zero right. Turn Niner Golf Whiskey. Roger. Clear. There's no clear. Turn right. 3 zero right. You maintain 170 knots. Still 5 mile final. Okay, so our one turn now is a left-hand turn right, golf off the runway. Delta 816, uh, well, we intercept right localizer, and I'll have a clearance for you shortly. All right, intercept. Uh, we're going to need a vector. We don't have the localizer just yet. Eight, Delta 816. Delta 816, Roger. Clear direct, Bono. Shoot. Delta 816, it's a right turn heading, uh, correction, fighting 310 now. Uh, 310, Delta 816. Yeah. I don't think I... That's better. Bonner. I, mean, I don't even have that, but we're... That's, uh, that's, that's going to get us right where we need to be. Yeah, but I don't even... Do I, do I have that? Yeah, I don't even have that. I have Sam's and Jacko, so... Traffic, traffic. Where are we at? Oh, look at that. We are lit up, boys and girls. <laughs> Somebody give me uh, exclamation point fish finder, please. That's cool. That's, that's really cool. I'm the fish finder. That's right, baby. <laughs> 
Oh, oh friend of all, that one's him. Just beat you. Hey, Alright, I've got the localizer now. Uh, negative, but we do have the localizer, Delta 816. Right turn three three zero intercept three zero right localizer delta eight sixteen. Delta eight sixteen your uh, traffic at your twelve o'clock six miles same direction citation jet at four thousand for the right side report of in sight. And we'll look for that traffic delta eight sixteen. Yeah, good luck. We played this we played this little game before Trebek. Delta eight sixteen you're eight miles from Sands cross Sands that are above uh, four thousand cleared Alice Carson at four thousand cleared Alice runway three zero right approach. All right, cleared for the 30 right approach. Maintain 170 till Jacko, Delta 816. Uh, okay, that means I can slow down. Sweet chariot. Traffic, traffic. All right, we're on the loke. Living La Vida localizer. We're still below the glide slope, so that's good. We're going to go a third. No, it's a third. Jacko to the tower, Delta 816. Good night. 26.7 is in. I'm going to jump over there first right now so I can put ground in 21.9er. All right, speed's 170. Localizer, or we're on the localizer-ish. <laughs> and the uh, glide slope's not yet coming down, but we're we're tracking inbound here, guys. We have the airfield in sight. Not quite yet. Eh, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. American 49 for 30 left. American 49, Minneapolis Tower, the wind tree 005, your number two behind an A320 on a four mile final runway tree zero left. Clear to land. Clear to land, number two, three zero left, American 49. The notch flaps try to get my nose down a little bit here. Southwest 1122, Delta to the gate, monitor ground point nine. Here comes the lope. Delta to the gate, ground point nine, Delta 1122. Alpha Tower Citation 9 Golf Whiskey Visual 30 right. Minneapolis Tower Cit or Citation 9 Golf Whiskey Minneapolis Tower. Good evening. You're number two behind a Delta 737 on about a half mile final to win tree 005 runway tree 0 right clear to land. Gear. Number two clear to land, 30 right, 9 Golf Whiskey. Tower Delta 816, 30 right, hello. Behind a citation on a three mile final to win tree zero zero five, runway tree zero right, clear to land. Slow to your final if you haven't already. Slow to final, clear to land, three zero right, Delta 816. All right, clear to land so gear can come down. Gonna slow down. Trying to get slowed down anyway. Laps uh, uh, 30 are set. Arm the auto brake. You're, you're to the left quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I am. You're right. You're right. There's my dot. And I am a little bit low now, too. So we're going to do a little, little side shuffle there. Drifted a wee, wee bit there, laddie. There we go. I just like the controller to get a little nervous. Where's this guy going? Tower, good evening, Air Canada 6412, ready to go, 30 right. Air Canada 6412, Minneapolis Tower, good evening. Alright, let's uh, level out here just uh, for a moment. Continuous. 
level out here just for a second. Oh, I'm too far right. Jeez Louise. Auto brake armed. Yep. All right, we're leveled off here. We'll let that glide slope get back on us here. We're on the localizer. There we go. Hey, where are you? Well, we've got Delta Frontier Flight 460. What's your landing rates? Frontier Flight 460, Roger, vacate the left, take Delta to the gate and monitor ground one two one. Yeah, and I would recommend you start at 200 and uh, go up. That would be my recommendation. There we go. So you have auto brakes and spoilers armed? A firm. Behind the high trees at the end of the runway here, guys. It's just one of those deals. Minneapolis Tower, Delta 519, over Jack, 30 right. Delta 519, Minneapolis Tower, good evening. Uh, where are you there? You're number two behind the uh, MD-80 on about a half mile final to win 3005, runway 30 right, clear to land. 100. 30 right, clear to land, Delta 519. Tower, Skyway 4218, ILS 30 left. Skyway 42. 18 Minneapolis Tower, the wind 3005, runway 30 left, continue, traffic will be departing prior to your arrival. Alright, continuing. Uh, Scar 4218, thanks. Tower, good evening, Delta 1202, uh, behind company traffic, uh, 30 left. 100. Delta 8997, 8997 Minneapolis. 40, 30, 20, 10. Minneapolis Tower, Delta 8997, holding short at 30 left. Yeah, a little right, dang it. Minneapolis Tower, wind 3005, runway 30 left, clear for takeoff, heading 260 after departure, no delay. 260 after departure, clear to take off. Delta 8997, 30 left. Thank you. Yeah, that was okay, a little bit right. Delta 816, welcome to many vacates to the left. If you need it, you can vacate on runway 22. All right, uh, left turn, yep, on 22, Delta 816. All right, we'll take that. We'll yep, take that. Tower, Frontier, Flight 458, checking in with you. 3400 3, on the visual for 30. Frontier Flight 458, Minneapolis, Terrier number two behind a CRJ 700 on a three mile final. All right, Frontier welcome to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Paul, everybody. Berlin, following the CRJ and we're going to try to go all the way around to, uh, what did I say, Gulf 1 2, I think is what I had in the flight plan. Hold here, it's Charlie. Good job. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to try to be out of this guy's way here. Let's clean things up. And, yeah, I'll take that. I mean, uh, that's it, I can it was, a, it was an okay approach. No, no change of frequency. I want you to turn left to a heading of 260. Stay with me. And the landing wasn't too bad. It'll be it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You can live with it. Yep. This is a hard plane to land. It just it gets kind of pitchy and the nose gets up a lot of times. and So you just, uh, yeah, it's just, it'll be kind of interesting. If you need you can vacate on runway 22. Hold short of Papa. Contact ground point nine. Oh, I think he wants me over there already. All right. Minneapolis ground, hello. Uh, Delta 816, we are clear of 30 right, holding on uh, just short of Charlie. American 49, hold short of Charlie. 
Kelly, give way to the uh, Citation jet passing from left to right. Okay, holding short of Charlie, uh, Michael 49, Roger. Delta 816, Minneapolis, Grand Alo, what's your gate? Uh, Golf 1 2. Delta 816, right turn on to Charlie and Alpha into the gate. Charlie Alpha to the gate, Delta 816. American 49, after that traffic passes, you can continue taxiing. Roger that. Once the traffic goes by, I'll go straight across. Thank you, sir. American 49. We've passed the Niner Golf Whiskey. Look at that fancy red livery. Yeah, let's round up the 519, clear through the right. Uh, I'm going to gate Delta 3. Delta 519. She's a beaut, Clark. Via Papa and there goes uh, probably a challenger, right? Everybody f is flying that challenger at this point. Is that a go around? Do you think? Because they were landing, they were landing over here. Do you say, hey ho, hey ho, hey? You can't take left turn on the pop and then Delta five nineteen. Delta five nineteen. Then continue taking straight ahead, left turn on the Quebec, Charlie Papa, and into the gate. Alright, Quebec, Charlie, Papa, end of the gate, and we'll Looks like we got us a standoff. American 49, looks like you made a wrong turn there. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, power back in, nice. I'm gonna just go straight in, yeah, I'm backing up right now. Nice. Alright, American 49, they usually park in the alleyway. Um, you could have gone straight into the alley, is that not where you are? That's pretty dang cool. Uh, yeah, yes sir, I was going over to Echo 6, but, uh, thank you very much sir, sorry for the problem. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Brickyard 4802, Minneapolis. All right, we had some uh, had some landing rate guesses there, and a lot. Of, uh, no. Yeah, me either. That's a that was a pretty good. My thought was just to take the grass. Hey, mad props for the guy doing the power back, Delta 816. <laughs> All right, we got a little fish finder. Ori saying raw dogging it in the states. Yeah, Ori. Or Downwind says 200. Hawker 160. Banagon with the good job. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you hanging with me. Skull. Um. Everybody but me, Ori Darkwin says. I own it, but I haven't had the opportunity to fly it yet. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't own it yet, Ori. So don't feel bad. Continue to hold, Niner Golf Whiskey. All right. So we're heading. Uh, don't own it yet. We're heading up here just a little bit further before we have to turn. We are. I'm trying to check. Yeah, I've got to go all the way down here to Alpha, basically, which is the very last turn before you hit the runway. Way down to Charlie. Yep. Now we're on we're on Charlie now, but we've got to hang a left on Alpha here, and uh, about midway down, I don't exactly know where Char uh, Golf 12 is, but we'll find it. There's another. Is that another Mad Dog there, or is it maybe like a DC9 or something? T-tail. It's got to be a Mad Dog. I guess those DC9s are T-tails also, though. Come somebody coming out here. There goes the departure. That's awesome. Got that APU clicking away. Yeah, it just got it. Just got it started. Yeah. 
16, get the corner there on the Bravo if you need to. Uh, the citation is going to continue holding short for a little bit. Sounds good. We'll just uh, turn here, Delta 816. Rick Garrett, 4802, contact Minneapolis Tower 126.7. 1627, Rick Garrett, 4802, good night. Man, I love a I love a busy ramp. It's just you don't see it very often in bat sim, and it's just really a cool little dance. And those uh, controllers that get people here and there, man, they uh, pretty amazing. And I love seeing the landing lights coming in. I mean, that's that's really cool. That's really cool. All right, uh, this is going to be a crapshoot, guys, because like I said, I don't really know. And we're just going to take a guess. Uh, I think we're about midway gate. down. What's the gate? What gate do you have? You Rouge, Golf 1 2. You can push uh, onto Quebec okay. without hitting him. Uh, I guess he's waiting for your gate. Okay, stand by. Those I think are Foxtrot. Box 18. Yeah, so we got a little ways to go yet. It I might be the section that's sticking out. Yeah, it is. And so I'm just going to try to count like uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, don't you think? I think this airport puts the odds on one side and the evens on the other. We're going to have to replan the pushback here, so please stand by. There's 258, roger. Push when you're able. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, there's a big heavy. That's a big heavy. Yep. Five, six. We'll have, we have half a chance at doing this. Half a chance. What scenery is this? Light beam. Minneapolis ground, that is 422 vacated, uh, runway 3 0 That was 422 Minneapolis ground, hello, taxi via Charlie Tango into the ramp, good night. Charlie Tango into the ramp, that was 422. All right, that is. Uh, okay, you'll make this jog a little closer to the concourse. Yep, that's eight, nine. We're getting down, there. Oh, just a little, maybe two hundred feet. Ten, eleven, twelve. Right on the far corner of that building, guys. Sure, okay. Whiskey, just uh, for your planning purposes, and Southwest on short final now. As soon as he lands, Oops, hey, hello. You, uh, be prepared for an expedited crossing, please. We've got a lot of traffic on final. We'll expedite when clear, not a golf whiskey. Stuck your head in the wall. Yeah. All right. Eleven, and then there's twelve. All right, good deal. We found it. Awesome. Awesome. Reset my so view you here. Have the binoculars when you have the. Uh, the little head turning track. Well, you you kind of do. You can do that, but no, not the the track IR doesn't do really anything for you. You have to use your zoom your zoom button. There's Golf 1 2. Hey, what the holy baggage cart guy. Yep, this is uh, Flight Beams, Minneapolis, St. Paul. I'm a huge, huge fan of Flight Beam. I had a couple of their sceneries when I used to be in P3D, and uh, I have a couple of them here in X Plane, and I even have, I think, two of them in uh, Fussy Pants. I love them. They're very, very good. I'm going to spare you the shutdown procedure. We're going to get stopped. We'll check the. Bingo. We're going to just set the brake and uh, kill the engines. And we're going to hop out here and do a really super fast Volanta. 
touchdown report, and then we're going to get going because we have to open up. Um, have to open up Microsoft Flight Sim to get this second leg going here. So, and we may have to. Eh, we may have to come back to this. It might take a second to load it, but uh, well, I am curious to see. Um, there it is. Okay, Minneapolis St. Paul. Did a little wiggly waggly there, but uh, statistics wise, 237. Eh, a little bit high on the G's. 188. Didn't feel that bad, but uh, landing speed was pretty close. 135. Yeah, I'll take that. Like I said, it was a, it was a decent approach, and. Uh, yeah, all right, very cool. Win. win, admiration, and breaking rights. <laughs> Friend all, thanks, man. Appreciate that, Ori. Uh, I'm going to fly down in Hawaii, Ori Darkwind. So let me get X-Plane exited out. As soon as it's closed out, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to... Active Sky can go away, and so can X Pilots. I will start. This might take a minute, so actually that's good timing. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back, and we'll begin our Hawaiian adventure. Aloha. All right, that's a good start. We are starting. And I'm going to try to pull up the, say, Flying Club event sheet here. Got to see where we're going. Full text briefing. Even a little route map here, I think. Yeah, Sky Vector route. Very good, very good. All right. So, it would appear starting in Lihu. All this loads up, this is what we're doing. You guys want to fly along? Uh, I'm going to be on the USA East server. And I shouldn't have grabbed that, guys. Oops, didn't mean to. But I'll also be flying in um, on BATSIM so we can talk. And there's a few stormy storms here and there and everywhere, but uh, not too bad. So, yeah, this is set up to be a VFR trip to try to avoid some of the major airspaces, but. Um, Gonna have to talk to some people here because there's some there's some places that uh, have some restrictions. I don't know that we're gonna stop at all of these, but we'll, we'll probably try to do some landings at it, as many of these as we kind of feel like we have time for. I don't really have any scenery. There's not a ton of scenery, surprisingly enough, for Hawaii. I mean, there's a few places, but you would think all these strips would be well rendered. But I think maybe it just looks good enough in the default that you don't have to so um, 
Yeah, so we'll get a hold of Hilo and we'll get the heck out of here. And it looks like we are um, going to have to take, I mean, I, I don't know. We'll, we're heading westbound, so we'll probably file something. You know, 2,500 would get us out of trouble. So maybe somewhere 2,500 to 4,500. Then we get over here. It looks like this is a an echo. So we would just have to talk to the talk to the traffic as we transition it or as we're coming in. I don't know if it's going to be staffed or not. Um, down here, same deal, Delta, 2,500 or above. Or we can just make a landing there. Winds are 240. And uh, what are they here? 300. So kind of a favoring a little bit of a north to west type of approach, at least there. And uh, we go across the channel over here to, uh, to Hana. It's uncontrolled. We're going to transition the, uh, the uh, Kahului class Charlie. And to do that, we need to be at 4,500 or better. Okay, we could do that. We may land there. I'm sorry, this is, uh, yeah, Kahului. And um, then over here to Lanai. It's an echo. This is a delta, 3,000 or higher. So um, from Molokai, this is where uh, this is where good fixings was. So we're, wherever he's at, we're definitely going to land. And uh, then over we go to uh, Kaniho, Kaniho Bay. That's a delta at 2,500. Looks like they kind of have like a little little detour here to Pearl City, and uh, you could kind of, I think, I think if you want a little, yeah, that might be. I think a little further is uh, Pearl Harbor. And I don't know if I, I don't think I have anything in there showing the, the, see, uh, the, 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 where the ships were, were sank, the museum, um, the memorial. There we go. All right. We've loaded up. So that's what we're going to be doing. And again, if you guys would like to, uh, like to, to come fly down there, you can. So far it's been, um. Uh, Uneventful, but I'm about to start down, so the excitement's going to ramp up. <laughs> uh, very nice, very nice. Oh, oh or he's talking about, uh, he's coming into to Nolens in the CRJ. Very good, my friend. Well, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. All right. Uh, Lihu. Hey, buddy. I'm going to duck out. I've got some logic to work out in a G1000. Fun, my friend. Thanks for flying along and hanging out in the chat, man. It was awesome. Nice to visit. We'll see you. Take it easy, buddy. Okay. We're going real time, real weather, my friends. So let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to be in the Twin Otter. And... Yeah, this should be fun. Oh, i got to switch my throttle quadrants out here. This is uh, most definitely an eight-levered operation. So let's get this all taken care of here while that loads up. Bing, bing, bing. And I can tell I'm starting to get a few add-ons because uh, <laughs> this is this is taking some time to load up. I try not to keep things honestly. Like if I have some scenery, you know, I'll hang on to it for a little while. But after I'm done sort of flying in the area, I try to get rid of it just so that I don't have these slow load-ups. But you know, there's some things. The more aircraft I get, the the longer it takes and all that good stuff. <laughs> sorry, I'm back. What do you mean you're sorry? You're back, Vertical Sim. We missed you, man. Good to see you. To see you. All right, ready to fly. Let's go ahead. We're going to set the 
set this. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. It's all those bush trips that Talwin Sim made. Yeah, man, we've got a ton of them out there. I tell you what, uh, it is. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. This is a what is this? Is this a six? Twin Otter, yep, to Haviland six. All right, cool. We need to go. It's VFR from. Hey, I have a question for you, Vertical Sim. I don't mean to make, turn this into a troubleshooting chat, but um, have you had any issues with uh, your updated Baltimore, Washington um, having some uh, frame rate issues? It seems to really be tough on the frames for me. Is is there, uh, do I have a, something I can, is there a way to turn some, some grass off or some static objects or something off there? Or should I, I've got my, I've got my sim settings turned down a little bit, but it's the first airport that I've ever come across since I've got my new graphics card that really is uh, really challenging me. But uh, anyway, love it. Looks great and uh, a lot of fun. But And by the way, the patch worked really well down there at Tampa. Thanks for sharing that with me. We are northwest bound. Loaded up and trucking. I think we're slant golf in this point in this uh, aircraft okay there we go oh geez i put new to airspace yeah what the heck <laughs> so we do have center and, uh, yeah so you're you're taking a look back at uh at this week you think it's an ortho slash lighting that's killing it okay all right very good and you've learned the proper method to do those things now yeah man very good. All right, I'll stay tuned and uh, be ready for whatever you whatever you toss our way. Uh, checklist would be nice. Would be nice. This is a this is a new airplane to me, so I still am kind of stumbling around just a little bit. All right, I'm not. See, fuel is norm. Parking brake is set. Yep, set. Power levers. Let's just make sure everything's working. Idle, prop, idle, fuel cut off. Here. Battery on, master on. I gotta check and see what my sounds are like here. The this is uh, probably probably a, it's a pretty mediocre sounding plane, and so that's uh, I kind of like to have. Um, sounds turned down just a little bit it, it can sort of be overwhelming there's a there's a wind sound as you fly that just just uh kind of is a little little loud i think engine sounds are and eh, they're okay they're getting better they did an update there's a apparently there's a an fsx sound pack that helps quite a bit i just haven't been brave enough to download it, it costs 14 dollars or something it's almost as much as the plane so i'm sort of just rolling with it See if I see if I like the plane enough to do that. Uh, but but da, da. let's go back here. Position light, anti-collision coming on. Passenger lights can come on. Let's go check the fuel quantity. Should have about half a tank, I think. Yep, a little over half a tank. That's kind of what defaults at, and we are ready. Generators are confirmed off. Let's uh, let's get the uh, boost pumps on. Test and on. Test and on. You notice the lights on the enunciators go off when you do that. And uh, yeah, we're ready. Um, prop levers need to go forward here. Start the right hand first. Looking for the GG to go to 12. And fuel levers on. A little bit of an awkward transition here. It sounds pretty good, and then it's gone. <laughs> Just like that, it's gone. It's it's running. I mean, it's going. You kind of hear it in the background, but 
That's that's right now the buzz of, about this plane. If, if there was a little smoother transition from the startup to the engine running, I think people would be actually pretty happy with this overall sound pack. And this is a bit loud at the beginning, but uh, you know, takes time. I get it. You'll leave her on. It's coming up. So we, I think we would need to check in. We're at a we're at a delta. We're departing VFR. I think we would need to check in here, guys. Let's get the rest of the startup stuff done, though. All right. Two good engine starts. Jenny's set and on. Okay. Um, interior lights; those are all on there. We need uh, we need a uh, turn the. Uh, I don't I don't think we actually need that right now. Uh, that's all good. That'll come on in just a little bit. Bleed airs can come on. And uh, I would guess you'd want a little AC down here. It's probably pretty, pretty dang nice here in Hawaii. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Radio master switch is, I think it's defaulted on. Sorry, guys. It must be because everything is on. I have not found the radio master switch if there is one. Okay, so Honolulu Center 2650. Boy. I got to learn how to use Instead of the scroll wheel, just to click and hold. Oh gosh darn. 2650. Come on, baby. Go. And then uh, that's it for now until we get a little closer to wherever, wherever good fixings is at. We will. Uh, Golf Lima Whiskey X3. You can. Uh, they're landing north currently. Um, so join the kind of a straight in runway two there. Squawk Charlie. We'll set altitude just in case we need it. Planning on hand flying as much as I possibly can today. But if we need it, 4,500 should keep us uh, close to out of the way. And what is the altimeter? 3003. Bravo. That's set. And all right. Um, we're going to depart. I think we're going to depart runway 21 here, guys. So the runway heading is going to be 215. Roger, Mooney. And it'll be a right hand, right hand uh, crosswind departure. In Honolulu Center, November one one eight one six. November one eight one six HDF Center. Yes, sir. Uh, we are on the ground here at uh, Lihu. Uh, VFR departure request. Roger. And uh, uh, November eight one six. Uh, let me know when you're ready to taxi runway three zero. All right, uh, three zero, and we are ready for taxi. November 816. November 816, runway 3, taxi via Kilo Alpha, the Huey altimeter 3003. Kilo Alpha 3003, November 11816. Alright, um. Uh, 
in November 427, Charlie. Kind of lied there, guys. Honestly, I, I don't have my taxi chart pulled up, so I'm not quite ready. But uh, I think they'll forgive me. Aloha, thank you for your service. November 427, Charlie. Charlie Uniform, Bravo, yep, there it is. Zero. And if I make it all the way to the end of Hilo, PHTO. All right, very good. Now I can pull up the taxi chart, see where I'm at. That'll be good. Roger, November 81 Romeo Delta CF Center. Uh, Support midfield downwind. Just kind of got to swing it around yeah. here. Ooh, I can't really go that way. I'm going to try to hang a hard left here and just go all the way. I'm almost right there on runway three, so that's uh, that'll work. All right. Um, transponder is on. The uh, fuel quantities are checked. Boost pumps confirmed on. Navcom radio is on. Autopilot. We will check that. Line three, seven, it's working. Six. HCF Center, uh, were you given uh, eight left for departure? Quick release, we're going to watch and make sure everything's working here. Line 376, uh, turn right heading 150. Wind uh, 13010, runway eight left, clear for takeoff. i take this guy out. Sorry, buddy, nothing personal. Set my track IR here again. You're in Lima Whiskey Golf, or sorry, Lima Whiskey X ray contact Kahului Tower on 118.7 Aloha. Some trouble getting going here. Come on, girl. Go. There we go. Stuck in the mud or something, I don't know. Charlie Uniform Bravo 730, Monitor Unicom 122.8 Aloha. All right, you guys. Uh, we will do a little quick run up here before we get too far. Not exactly the area to do it, I guess, but uh, now there's a run up area coming up. Take. Yeah, nice little plane. I mean,. It's uh, perfect for events like this, which is what I was looking for. Like a little bit of a beefier high wing. You know, I've got the I've got the Cessna 152, which is a nice, nice plane. Fun to fly, fun for a VFR event like this. But uh, this is a little longer event, so I wanted something that could do more than about 90 knots. All right, so we're gonna come over here, do our run up off to the races HCS Center that's what they call themselves I guess right HCS I thought it was Honolulu Bravo 730 you're leaving a uh, leaving control airspace monitor Unicom 122.8 Aloha all right here we go set the brakes just a little abbreviated to run up here Y376 uh, radi radar contact, 2,600, climb maintain, 1, 3,000. Feather lever doesn't appear to do anything just yet. Uh, that's kind of a, a a bug they're working through. Yep, that doesn't do anything, so. Laps are set to 10 for takeoff. Back to power idle. Let's make sure all of our lights that we need are on anti-collision. Uh, sorry, uh, landing lights. We should uh, test those. Those are good. And uh, taxi, pedo, heat, strobes, and that's about all I need right there. We will take this guy down here to uh, ALT mode and it appears we're squawking Charlie down there that's good um, we're looking for uh, looking for a rotation speed of about 76 today and uh, we're gonna try to climb out at a hundred
Do I have Unicom set just... I'm ready to go here. Go, that'll be set. Beautiful. Okay. All right, let's get up here and uh, see if we can get going. Sorry, that was two at once. Uh, I think it was November 454 four Echo. Was that you calling? Go ahead with your request. You coming? Nope, we're good. And hold short, we'll be ready to rock. Okay, so it's actually going to be a left hand, um, a left hand crosswind departure. We're going to try to get on a uh, heading around. Well, just kind of go around the around the shoreline here. November one one eight one six, holding short runway three, ready for departure. November one one eight one six, on course departure is approved. Wind zero seven zero five, runway three, clear for takeoff. Runway 3, clear for takeoff, on course departure approved. 11816. Okay, final looks clear. And the runway looks clear. Here the hydraulic pumps uh, pressurizing. Get going, we'll see how these. Uh, you'll have to let me know how these engine sounds are, guys. Then I'll jump back in the chat, I apologize. November 81, Romeo Delta, runway 6. And kind of a. Uh, clear for the option when zero. Busy I transition here. I haven't been able by, to uh, chat too much. Six, here uh, we go seven. again. Looking for, uh, looking for what I say, seventy six. All right, take off power set. Ooh, I'm wobbling around here. Look, a little windy. Oh. Oh. Wow. We're away. We are away. Positive ray to climb. There is no gear to come up. Flaps up. And yeah, it's time to head up the coastline, guys. Let me get stabilized here and then I'll check in on the chat. Radar contact. Now we'll call it. Um, one three miles north east of. Uh, All right, we're away. We're away. Uh, or, well, yeah, nope, nothing happening in the chat. Land. You guys, thanks for your patience. I do appreciate south. that. And uh, fly heading uh, three. Hopefully, you've been able to join down here. And um, how are those engine sounds? Are they okay? Too uh, too loud. Too soft. O'clock in about uh, two miles, 5,500 uh, report to site. Sounds are good, Pentagon says, yeah. So uh, we will try to do our best to climb up kind of to um, 4,500, and we may go in and take a peek at the volcanoes, things like that, but I have not flown down here in Microsoft Flight Sim, I think in over a year. I think I did it when it first came out. Remember, uh, Echo Fox Trot, uh, maintain VFR, break, break, uh, That's it. Charlie Golf, Lima, Whiskey, X-Ray. Um, Ident. Rixel, he must have got flight following. Yeah, super, super scenic area, as you might imagine, and uh, looking forward to visiting these these airstrips. We'll do a, we'll do some some landings. We'll do some touch and goes probably, and uh, just have some fun. I don't know if we'll make it all the way up to the top end of the of the airport or not, but uh, we'll see. All right. 
back the RPMs a little bit here. Yo, as you can see, we're kind of in the kind of in the red there a little bit, but now we're doing better. Climbed out just a little quick. Honestly, we we're going fast right now. We could have could have probably did a little bit more aggressive angle of attack on the way out, but that's yeah, that's okay. It looks pretty good, doesn't it, guys? Holy cow! Are you on frequency? Hi, yes, sir. Walker 720 over at Daffy Flight 1370. Walker 720. So 4,500 is uh, what we're after, and we may not exactly land in the order or visit the airfields in the order that uh, was totally intended, but we're going to do our best. November 81 Romeo Delta, uh, runway 6 cleared for the option and report of it till down with Oh, I, did I start at the wrong... Oh, man, I think I started. <laughs> I started at the wrong end of this event. I started clear up here at Lehu. Uh, although I don't... That, that might be the way you're supposed to start. I, I was picturing myself going the other way. So we're, we're actually making a... We're actually making a... Hotel, We're going the wrong way. We need to be goes. We need Number to be south east bound. So that means I filed an incorrect altitude of flight. Doc got it. Um, I'm getting a little bit saturated right now. Uh, go ahead and maintain VFR. Okay, no problem. We'll maintain VFR. Six Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna update that just uh just cause it's gonna bother me. Baron 454 Echo, uh, go ahead and turn left heading 270 so vectors. For, rookie mistake right there. Uh, All right. Vectors and destination here. But, I'll get you, uh, something direction. So we'll go, uh, we'll go 3,500 on the way back down. And I'm like, where the heck am I? They're up here at the north side of the island chain. That's where. 454 Echo, uh, um, that heading should work for me. The heading will work better. I'll have something direct uh, for you shortly, though. Thank Look, you. kids. Big Ben. Parliament. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to cut a little bit of power and descend to 3,500. And we're going to just pretend Delta, that we meant to go this a, way. Uh, any sort of approach or landing Look at the clouds. At, uh, you're gonna be, uh, on VFR from there. I think we'll go ahead and get below these guys. Nobody saw nothing. Hey, we're not lost. We're on an adventure. Yeah, we're not lost. We may be lost, but we're making good time. See, so if we were in the in the uh, JP Logistics 150 right now, we'd only be getting lost at 90 knots, but we're getting lost at 150 knots. So there you go. Kevin, good to see you. Just about out, out of Diet Dr. Pepper. I mean, ale. There's 3,500. See how well we can trim out here. And uh, yeah, we'll start working our way back the other way. So I, the route I was describing to you guys, basically I was doing it backwards. So if you pull up that Sky Vector link... Uh, happen to have the uh, the event briefing we're st I'm starting at the north end and I'm heading heading down the island chain here I wonder if the center controller was laughing at me <laughs> all right set altitude here we need we need 3,500 baby there we go all right no harm no foul oh that's an awkward transition from track IR to not track IR. A little bit of turbulence here, guys. Fasten your seatbelts.
these clouds are obscuring our view. Number 81, Romeo Delta, runway 6, clear for the option. Report the field demo. All right, so let's turn this frown upside down and let's see where the heck I'm supposed to be going here. Uh, out of here on a 108. November 454 Echo, I proceed direct to Lanai at this time, resume on navigation. Spin that guy around 108, and we'll start to make a little bit of an oceanic crossing here. Line 376. 108. Cross TT at 5000 at TT cleared ILS runway 2 approach. All right, Lee Hu. See you later. This is a this is 73 mile water water crossing. Wow, How about that. All pilots on frequency. We have the wrong way driver on the interstate. Repeat wrong way driver alert. Pray with your eyes open and your hands on a swivel or your head on a swivel. <laughs> Oh, dude. Would you expect anything less from Mr. Navigation? I think not. Alright, adios, land ho. Catch you on the flippity dip. The cruise power, I can set the uh, torque pressure to 45. And everything else seems to be running in the green, so I'm happy with that. All right. I brought you all the way down here to Hawaii so you could look at the water. Walker 720, house discretion, to maintain level 240. Walker We'll pick up my new flight. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. A little hey, let's tour the island here. Let's head the right direction. Get beeped at. I'm getting a little high, is why. Ad won't take us too long to get across the way here. Way to track up. There is, but I don't remember how to do it. Anyone remember how to turn that uh, that 5:30 to track up mode? Almost positive there is a way to do that, but I'll have to uh, research it here later. Clear. Seven star seven six seven Mike Papa. UCF center you under.
I'm thankful for the way that sentence ended. I was afraid you were going to say, I brought you all the way out here to Hawaii to sell you timeshare condos. <laughs> I want, to, I want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty is what I really want to do. Delta 338 CX Center, Aloha, Squawk 1544. Kevin, how's your Saturday been going, man? Good weekend so far? It's been a really good one. The Melvin Leroy household, for sure. <sighs> Got a Friday off. Spent most of the day in front of the sim. Didn't really have a whole lot to do today. Was able to do a couple of flights already. And now I'm here flying in Hawaii. So it's been a full weekend of flight sim. It's been awesome. Good fixings. Am I stopping at Molokai or heading onward? I can switch over to Hilo or Kona. Uh, Brett, wherever you are is where I'm gonna is where I'm gonna stop. So if you want to jump out and get ahead or whatever, go ahead, and then I'll just plan on stopping there. You just let me know, and and I will uh, I will adjust accordingly because I got such a late start. I mean, heck, I'm an hour and a half late, right? Series of mini crises, crises so far. And glad to take a bit to fly and hang out with me. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Uh, hopefully that'll all sort itself out. Sometimes those mini crises are really wear on you, like a scratch, an itch on your back. God, it has to be scratched. Thank you. Thank you. That's correct, sir. <sighs> well, like most Aerosoft airplanes, this, this uh, uh, hand flies really nice. Looks great. Everything's Fairly functional in terms of uh, zero, buttons and switches cross. and things uh, like that. I think the biggest thing that I hear is uh, has to do with um, engine sounds uh, and head, I guess, the fact uh, that they're still uh, struggling a little bit with the pitch levers, um, and it's hard to uh, hard to feather. I think they've worked on that. I was noticing as I was adjusting my uh, adjusting my propeller levers that the RPMs were changing and I think that indicates that we're getting a little more bite maybe a little bit of a pitch trim adjustment there a little more torque and it took me a little while to uh, to get the the, the reversers uh, to work on the power lever. That was an in, interesting um, little configuration, but got that squared away. Took me a while. Um, oh, man. Oh, so I've got the odds. Took me a while to get the camera view set up as well. That was really wild. It was not letting me, you know, you just have to point your camera wherever you want it and just hit control and the number number key whatever you want control four control eight whatever you want that wasn't working so for some reason I just thought well let me try the like I was doing left control and the number I said let me try the right control and the number and that worked like a charm so go figure but I mean it's a uh, It's a twenty, whatever, twenty-four dollar airplane. It's, it's uh, barely priced and going to be a lot of fun for the for the money. Golly, how oh my eyes bugging me. Having a series of mini crises. Damn my shoes. Attack of the yaws. Back itches. 
Ah, he's bugging me. There we go. I've had far too much Diet Dr. Pepper tonight. I think my body is like going, okay, you've caffeinated yourself for eight consecutive hours. Now you're going to crash no matter what you put in your body. <laughs> but darn it, I'm making it to that volcano before, before I... Uh, Fall into a coma. Alright, I need to do feet. this, you guys. I should have done this a while ago. Honolulu Center is on 2650. Let's get that set in standby so we can hear him talking to us. And then, and then we can go to Unicom up here, like we're supposed to. All right, so that means we need to be monitoring. How do I do that? Uh, we can give you an ILS to uh, four right or eight left. That is how I do that. Alright, Walker 720 will yep. more than likely take the ILS 8 left, but... Very good, very good, left. very good. No problem, just let me know. Uh, when there's Center isn't taking flight falling right now, Brett's saying, yeah. And I didn't really want that, honestly. I want to stay out of people's way tonight. But I want to I want to definitely violate several FCC, F, FAA uh, rules when I come to your airport, whatever it happens to be there, Fixie. Like, I'm going to totally buzz the tower... Probably inverted. It's going to be full on uh, Air Force Proud 95. Be ready, man. I think I'll stick it on uh, on Molokai for now. Okay, cool. I will plan that. So since I was uh, wrong way, Ralph here, I got to find out where is Molokai Wheeler. Oh, I'm a ways yet ways from Molokai. Now I tell you what, Fixie, if uh, if it gets late and you got to go, I totally understand. I I'm still north of the Big Island, so uh, it's going to be a little bit. However, I will um, I will not do any full stop landings. I will uh, I will just just give people the scenic tour. Yeah, it was. I don't know if you watched the beginning. I thought I was departing from the south end. And so I made a left hand downwind departure. Started heading north. I'm like, wait a minute. This doesn't look right. <laughs> then I looked at my map and I was... Uh, yeah. Samsonite. I was way off. Swimming salmon... Tim and Swanson? Swanson? Maybe it's on the briefcase. Look on the... Oh, yeah! It's right here. Samsonite. I was way off. I knew it started with an S, though. <laughs> Charlie Golf, Golf, Romeo, Sierra, CF Center. Aloha, you can say request. Charlie Golf, Golf, Romeo, Sierra... Uh, Roger, um, point three four. Do you have the? Are you flying the Microsoft Flight Sim, Cody, or are you flying the Thranda? Thranda. I just about flew that. By the way, the the X plane. I had so much fun flying it in the float plane uh, cargo mail the other day. Yeah, golly, you had a great plane. It was just. Uh, I don't know if you guys. We're all here, but we did a we did a cargo mail on was it uh, Tuesday night? I think we flew from Ketchikan, Alaska, up to Juneau in the Kodiak, the floaty Cody, and it was just like magical, man. We were like 500 feet, low hanging clouds, but uh, just a really awesome flight. A lot of great people hanging out. One of my favorite flights of all time. 
definitely definitely gonna do a few more of those for my for my cargo runs. That was really really fun. All right, um, so we're coming up on the big island here, and we've got some altitudes to be aware of. To try to stay out of the way, we need to either be down below 1,600 or up above 9 or 1,000. Um, we also have a, looks like a funky class delta at 3,300. You know what I think we might do is this. Um, Roger that. Honolulu International is at my 11 or uh, 10 uh, I think like we that. might just and stay kind of to the uh, north with, uh, side. Right left. Now there is a, oh, there's a restricted area though. Um, Alright, this is, uh, this will be a little tricky. Roger that. I gotta look. I gotta look at this a little bit more closely. You guys can look with me. So, coming in here towards uh, Waani, Waha, Waiane, Waiane, Maili Point. And I think we're trying to avoid. There's like a little restricted airspace here. We're trying to avoid. Then we go towards the uh, Wheeler. Uh, Wheeler Field, is that what that is? We need to be above 3,300 there, so we are currently above that right now. And then there's another little restricted area, so we turn 196, it takes us to Pearl City. And this is that ring where we need to be below 1,600, or up at... Like it for us, it'd be at eleven, no, at nine thousand five hundred. I think I'm just gonna climb to nine five. That'll that'll keep us above everything here. We need to be above two thousand five hundred. Yeah, I think we're just gonna start a just a, just a gentle climb here to nine five. That'll just keep us clear of everything here. But we'll have to just it'll be interesting to see if we can hit all these points and uh, find this like this. Ma Maili Point. Molokai is surprisingly tricky to get into. Uh, runway five. The sloping terrain is deceiving. Oh, okay. Looking for is that? I'm assuming that's what you're landing. Is runway five at Molokai? Challenge. Accepted. Zero and zero down at twelve thousand. Walker seven twenty. I sound pretty uh, cocky for a guy that just about cartwheeled the 737 earlier this week, don't I? Yeah, the winds and uh, VRBs, it's always variable at four. Um, so you can technically come into any runway, but uh, five is the preferred. Okay, okay. I'll try to get down there as soon as I can, my friend. Yeah, um, you did, man. Uh, what was it? Was it? It might have been this time last week. Actually, I did two kind of rodeo landings. I, I, I just about, 
Well, I wing I wingtip struck the uh, 737 200 the last time I flew it, and then the uh, the level up that I was in the other night was like a one wheel hold on to your hats landing at Dublin. See if I can find the one. Three thirty, sorry about that. The main, I actually crossed Bambo one zero thousand on a little altimeter three zero zero. Well, let me know if you can't make that. Cross Bambo at uh, one zero thousand. We can make that delta. I will go to my channel w and we'll see here. And, uh, Let's see. Oops. Uh, I need to video video dudes here, don't I? Um, ba 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 ba. Oh, it may be it may be timed out already. Okay, well, shoot. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's over been over two weeks, but yeah. Anyway, long story short, I I drugged the. I drug the wing, drug the right wing. All right, here we go, you guys. We're trying to come inbound here to see if we can find that to a little, a little Maili point. I have a little bit of an advantage because I see the, I see the restricted zone on my Navigraph moving maps, so I can, uh, I can. Visually avoid them that way, and you, and you better believe your uh, believe that I'm looking at that because I don't want to. That's kind of a nice feature right there. I do not want to screw that up. I'm not I'm not so super concerned like with the Bush League event where I'm trying to you know navigate and find every little little nook and cranny here. I'm going to have some backup. Main concern right now is trying to get to nine and a half. Have to go a little bit more power. You're allowed to fly this plane at uh, 50, but you don't really get a lot more out of the top speed. That's not really what we want, though. At this point, we want to climb, baby, climb. All right, uh, my Ely Point. I think it's that guy right there. If you see big runways and giant airplanes, you've gone too far. Uh oh. I just hear my headphones beeping. Shouldn't be. I haven't been on that long. Four hours. I think that's our point right there. Try to hit that at 95, and then we're going to turn uh, 055 off of that guy. Of my, uh, there we go. Set that just to kind of be ready. Doesn't look very VFR at 9,500, does it? <laughs> Might be over the top of the clouds here. I could, if I if I wanted to, I could stay clear of everything if I just stayed along the coastline here. I think I'm going to do that. I think we're going to just call a little bit of an audible here. We're going to descend down below the clouds here. Stay visual. Remember. Number 427 Charlie Fox, you're at welcome to Honolulu, uh, where you parking today. Dive, uh, dive, so dive, a, dive. Uh, so Honolulu, could you guide me to a uh, parking spot? 
from uh, November 427, Charlie Foxtrot, turn right onto Delta. I want to be uh, seeing stuff. If we're going to come all the way to Hawaii, man, we need to be seeing the sights. You don't need to be seeing the top of the clouds. Scam full stop. Hey, man, how are you? Welcome back. Yep, you got the commands up there. We've got some free sound commands for you just for stopping by. If you're a some, Roger, you're an, a scriber, you get a few right more. You get some from my right my road grandson, road. also known as the junior first officer. Uh, Plus, you get lots right of emotes Delta, that uh, Delta, make fun Scott, of me, right. like this one, which we've already right. used Charlie once Fox, today because I started right. going the wrong way. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Walker Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Hawaii. Aloha. If I may be so bold, we've been running an audible for years. That's what we signed up for here, Mr. Navigation. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it's the risk you take. That's right. When you sign on, when you hop in the back seat here. Speaking of, I think I even have some. Yeah, look at that. I got some uh, custom custom views set up. Pretty. This is one of the few planes you can do that with. Yep, there's the Mr. Safety emote. Alright, all I have to do is stay off the coastline here. And I am good to go. And yes, I'm going to resist. I see it. We all see it. We all see it. I'm going to resist. I got to go and harass good fixings at his airport, at the, at the Molokai Airport. I'm going to call it Malaki, just to annoy you. Remember the 4 to 7 Charlie Fox short crossing, 4 left and 4 right on Delta. So if we're eastbound, I can get down to 1,500, baby. Let's do it. Just got a guy who wants to do pattern work, so you're not going anywhere. All right, good. Because I'm, uh, I'm a ways yet. I got to get around the Big Island and get myself over to uh, to uh, uh, whatever this one. What's the what's the island that you're a part of here? Let's see, uh, I don't even know. Is the whole the whole island's Molokai, isn't it? Yeah. Never been here. All right, let's put some power back in and uh, level off. Just about 1,500. Now, now, my friends. Start to look around and uh, see what there is to see. There is a cool little uh, dirt strip down there, by the way. I remember that. Landed on that one a while back. But uh, there's, there's, I guess, <clears throat> in real life, and Pixie, correct me if I'm wrong, there's like a bunch of skydiving operations here, and I even think some military operations that uh, go on up here, and that's part of what the restricted airspaces are. Um, so for this one, if, you, if you're looking at the uh, Hawaii charts, that's why I'm kind of out here off the shoreline. There's that little airstrip. Yeah, I guess it could be paved, but it's a fun little, fun little booger. HCF Walker 720, uh, Honolulu, site will take the visual east left. Walker 720, take it. Walker 720 has Honolulu, site will take the visual. Roger, Walker 720. Equip visual approach from my 8 left, wind 1201, runway 8 left, clear to land. Quick visual approach 8 left, 8 left, clear to land, Walker 720. We did do a, uh, a Bush League event out here one time. There are actually a, quite a number of neat little bush strips and a few spots that we actually made that maybe weren't bush strips. I think there was a, an old uh, racetrack or something that we landed on that was kind of fun. Well, actually, it was an old airport that was turned into a, like a drag strip. It was a lot of fun. 
left in there. Uh, so for now, go ahead and fly heading uh, 280, left 280, and uh, at pilot discretion, it's going to maintain 7,000. Line 1127 um, should have been in the PEC squawk 1557. This would be a nice way to see this island, though. I tell you what. Line 1127 negative. It's just going to be 6,000 for now. Uh, you'll, you can expect 12,000. Uh, the closest airport to my house is currently an airport and a drag strip. Oh, yeah, nice. The, uh, the old airport in my wife's uh, parents' hometown was converted into a, a drag strip. It's, it's like one of the top places in Wyoming to, to go race now. I'm like, what a great use for it, man. Those... those Old runways are, you know, they're 10 feet thick, and they're never going to wear out. Just maintain them a little bit. Tame, ashamed to tear them out or just let them go to waste. Line 11 on departure, fly heading 360, wind 040, one one runway, two clear for takeoff. Delta 330, descend, maintain 6,000, and park Coco Head heading 250 vectors. Some good diet, Dr. Pepper, right there, my friends. Telling you. Coco Head. That sounds like a fun place. A lot of wind farms down here, I would guess. Coco Head is a BOR, okay. Even better. They don't maintain this one. Ah, uh, dang. Well, they won't be won't be uh, racing on it too long. If they do that, or landing on it. <laughs> we have up here building out there. Roger, and uh, Charlie Golf Lima Whiskey X-Ray, Kilo altimeter 3004. Uh, wind is currently out of the east. Would you like a visual? Would be a shame to ruin the views with wind farms. Tidal generators might be a better choice. Yeah, you know, I I uh, wonder if they've got much of that out here. I don't know. Roger, uh, Charlie Golf Lima Whiskey X-Ray. Uh, enter a left base from way 8. Is a More consistent, probably also, wouldn't you think, Corey? Round the horn we go. We are actually on the uh, opposite the, side uh, of Bravo. the uh, island uh, where um, Wheeler Air Force Base and Pearl Harbor is. Um, so I apologize if you were uh, they, uh, wanting to see a little bit of that, but this is the this is the easiest route for us to go and still be VFR. I think if we would have been up at nine or thousand five hundred, we probably would have been okay. But yeah, we just um, like we wouldn't have been able to see anything. Four, four, Echo. This little hotel on the beach Cross here. Molokai. Cross Molokai at 7,000 clear DOR Alpha approach. It's a pretty cool. Molokai, cross basically Molokai, an autogen 7, 000, building, I think. That's DOR, awesome. Alpha approach, November 454 Echo. Very nice. Very nice. The restricted area on the northwest side of the island is under Honolulu ATC control, and uh, they're it intermittent with uh, 
3901A and C being up to 9,000, Bravo being up to, uh, or going 9,019, same with uh, 310. Well, I, I think I'm north of everything Let's anyway, so Bravo. I don't think um, I... Is yeah, I, I just stayed uh, north of all of it, so I could have probably just, uh, I, I could have probably done that, though, Shusey. That would have definitely been more direct. Although I feel like the guy has uh, got got quite a bit of work on his hands right now, so we'll just just try to stay out of his way as much as we can. I don't mind. Water looks awesome, doesn't it, guys? Line 1127, and uh, you can proceed direct to Julie to the Julie 5 arrival. Up 330, field is at your, we'll call it 2 to 3 o'clock in 5 miles. Let me know if you have in sight. That's the Delta 330. Delta 330, affirmative, field is at your 3 o'clock in 5 miles report in sight. It's our fuel burn. Might have to get some gas in Molokai. Been fairly, like, running it fairly fuel efficiently, I thought, but uh, maybe not. I busted the mess out of those just now. I <laughs> just found them. I uh, need to borrow your hat for a second. <laughs> Uh, glad I could help you out there, Shusey. That's a pretty little area. And if X plane 12 even comes close to this, wow, are we going to have something, guys? Right? Is it a pipe dream? Am I wishing for impossible things? Probably. Walker 720 clearing uh, A left on the Yankee. Roger. Uh, break, break. Walker 720. Welcome to Honolulu. Yeah, Pentagon. It's hard to go wrong, right, with this uh, this scenery. This part of the world is something else. That's why I wanted to add it on tonight. You know, normally if this would have been just uh you know just a well I, I shouldn't say just a regular but like like there's not very many places in the world that i would have cut short of flight the mad dog to go fly somewhere else um yeah 0 0.34 i have that and that really is good um it is uh yeah it really helps I feel like there's also more like uh Number one three six box truck mic. There's more scenery add ons also yeah. in X Plane. Uh say again, uh say again your request. But still it's just crazy that there's not like this whole island you would think would be just covered up with people working on stuff, but again maybe they just feel like uh, you know like it's just nice enough as it is. Number one three six box truck mic, maybe one you're looking at you know you're looking at that kind of stuff it's 
pretty tough to top, right? I mean, I get that. Get that. Roger, thank you. HCF Center, good afternoon. Ameris Light 1259 is about 20 miles. Point three four only has Maui, but it's great. To be fair, explain needs it more. Yeah. No, it does. It does. The the default airstrips down here in in Hawaii are pretty rough. That Northern Sky Studio guys has he's done the same the same stuff up in Alaska. Those little small like Talkeetna and stuff. He's done some air airstrips down here in Hawaii that are uh, they're payware, but um. But they're uh, they're those little 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 farts and uh, not too expensive. Just just in little cool spots of the world, you know. They would be foolish to become complacent with their graphics and senior development. Yeah, or you're right. Um, you're right. All right, we're going to cut the corner here a little bit. Line 1127, verify your direct to uh, Lee right now. And then we'll be outbound off of the Big Island, heading towards Balakai. We'll try to catch up with our friend Good Fixins and eh, looking at the time on the wall there, that. Molokai arrival might be it for me. I'm starting to hit a little bit of a wall here. And, uh, what's this little airport here? We at, uh, Kaniho Bay. Kaniho Bay. This is one of the airstrips that you can land on for the event there. Yeah. Good fixings, yeah. That Northern Sky Studio, that's right. And and I agree, it's uh, very good. You know he who he reminds me of a little bit is if he's still here, Vertical Sim. Kind of takes. Uh, oh, nice. Served here for four years, Pentagon. That's freaking awesome, dude. Oh man, tough. Sorry you had to be in such a rough environment, buddy. How did you survive? I just busted this airspace, too, I think, guys. I think this is a Delta. Uh, I think this is a... Sorry. Yeah, crap. I was supposed to be at 2,500. Sorry about that. Anybody on the ground? Oops. Shoot. Yeah, it's only 500 too low. Bravo. I make left traffic, runway 35. Kona wind 2407, runway. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know you'll have a number for me to call, Brett. <laughs> Let's go Delta busting. Big white boxes along the right were the, uh, oh, the second hangar closest to the airfield was your old place. Oh, those guys right there, huh? Cool. The second one was him. Nice. Got a little, like a little bit of a town to go to on your, your days off. Or did they let you off base very often? Pretty much... On a military base, uh, pretty much have everything you need right on base. Oh, you lived off base. Okay, nice. November 124 Alpha Papa. It gives center. Uh, stay aircraft type. Looks like quite a place. Did you get to do any fishing? Any um, deep sea fishing while you were there? Alpha Something Papa. I've never done. Roger, I, I've always 
the thought of it has always intrigued me, but I'm like, I wonder if I'd get seasick. I've never really been on a, a big boat in big water like that. Oh, you uh, you did get scuba certified. Nice. Aloha, your radar contact, 11 miles northwest of Kapolei Airport, 3,500. Are you going to be a full stop, you said, at Kahului? Yes, sir, full stop. Air flight 1259. There's a little airstrip right there I didn't ever see before. Nice. If that's listed on the sectional at all. That's cool. Roger that, my Roger that. I'll move the sign over 454 Echo, and then I'll make November 454 Echo, contact Molokai Tower 125.7, Aloha. 257, that's going to be uh, Molokai Tower, that's going to be you. Good fixings. No problem, Delta 330, welcome to Honolulu. Sorry about the delay there. Text ramp your discretion, Aloha, thank you for flying in. 2570. In the year 2570. Cowley. So zoomed out, you can't see, and then you. Attention all aircraft on frequency. HDF Center will be closing here uh, within the next five minutes. Unacceptable. Oh, look at that little, look at that little uh, town hidden in the cove there. That's the freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, if I if I do, I might get to work. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Oh, that's way cool. Just means I have more time to control, right? You got it. Beautiful. Of course, nice little beach area. Kind of a rocky Number beach, one, though. Alpha, Doesn't look like the nice five, sandy five, beach five, you need. There's our buddy Fixie McFixface. Power up, one, two, zero. Can hear him. Three, We're all coming. All We're three. inbound, brother. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, 106. I need to head out of here on a 106. I'm around too far. Yeah, I gotta turn. I gotta turn, baby. Turn. Turn and burn. 106. Line 1127. Alright, we're gonna turn him off. Much as I've enjoyed listening to Center. It's time to get my mind right so I can harass Fixie. What emergency can I declare? Fuel emergency? Engine emergency? Bathroom emergency? The uh, beach you just flew over was one you used to go to actually called Sandy Beach, huh? Dub Nation Gaming. Howdy. You like going to Molokai tonight, Dub Nation? One last... Uh, VFR traffic in the downwind right now. I'm about to turn... Gulp um, of Diet Dr. Pepper there. For, uh, we're heading to Molokai. Uh, and we're uh, shooting apparently the runway 5 approach. Go around. Sea turtle on the runway. Yep, that's the 1885 that I was talking about there, Pentagon. Man, that's uh, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Runway 5. Oh, wait a second. Am I not talking to 2670? Are you closing, Brett? 2570. Wait, what's going on? No problem, thank you. Uh, November uh, 6, Foxtrot Mike. I'm still, uh... I'm going to be closing radar services with terminated frequency changes approved. I was... I didn't have that on, but it was still uh, transmitting and receiving. Hey! Ho! Hey! little wing wave there for you, Pentagon, and your old friends there at... Uh, 
the Air Force Base. Last flight of the night. Yeah, man, I I uh, been going for a little bit, kind of hitting the wall. I'll be honest with you, but uh, it'll be a while yet. We still got to make it across a little bit of open ocean here and try to see if we can attempt to fly some sort of a pattern into runway five. Apparently, uh, tower controller there is uh, telling me that that's the expected runway. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. We gonna do it. Um, I'm going to pull up the uh, airport diagram there. Oh, I I think I have uh, shot this before, and you're right. The the terrain does present some challenges. All right, so looking, 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 looking. It looks to me like runway five is a left-hand traffic pattern. So we're sort of coming in on a little 45 to the base leg. All right, um, 4,400, so about 4,500 feet in length. Um, we have an elevation of 450, so we're right about pattern altitude as we come in. <laughs> so if we can hold 1,500, we'll be good to go. And then um, as we come in, we'll just uh, go straight on down here. Maybe get off on Bravo or Charlie. Got a little uh, GA ramp right here, a little terminal. See where the we'll see where the tower guy puts us. It's his barbecue. You just got into X plane two nights ago. Well, welcome to an awesome sim platform, my friend. You're going to really enjoy it. It's going to take a little while for uh, you to make the world look the way you want but there are tons of free tools that will help you do just that so you parted ways with fussy pants yeah I know a lot of people that have done that I do I do it's a lot of that going around Lately, just park it anywhere, fix He said, I'll just pull off on the grass then, right? Yeah, I tell you what, this, um, the last couple of months, really since, since Black Friday, uh, it has, um, like, like X-Plane has just, just exploded with all these great releases of, of aircraft and um, and then yeah Ori Darkwind just managed something I was gonna or uh, mentioned something I was gonna bring up that the uh, the uh, that X aviation there from uh, Sim Haven that um, is uh, is really really doing a lot of the auto gen stuff that you see in um, in Microsoft Flight Sim, so it's uh, like like they're the two are sort of ca well, in some ways they're catching up with each other. Microsoft Flight Sim still has such a long way to go in terms of their aircraft, but um, yeah, if I get anywhere near the runway, you'll consider it a win. Okay, <laughs> Dub Nation saying MSS on Bat Sim is uh, MSFS on Bat Sim's miserable. Yeah, the, they've had some issues with the elevation, you know, reporting and all that stuff. It's been frustrating, I know. It is, uh, it's a work in progress, right, guys? It really is. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going here, guys. Um, I do have a Molokai VOR I could tune. I don't know that I've tuned a VOR yet in this plane. 116.1. Let's uh, let's see if it. Let's see how we track. Sixteen one. Oh, there we've we'll changed. Uh, that's already on VLOC. Alright. Let's fly towards the VOR. 
and we'll just uh, we'll set this at uh, zero five zero so we know what runway heading we've got here, roughly. There we go. 1,500 but the problem is yeah the problem is this hill like I'm gonna need more than more than a buck and a half to get over this hill so um, let's uh, uh, let's climb let's go three and a half any kind of a DME here probably probably have to set it down here though don't I nope that's not a DME DME, 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 nope, 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 all right, so be it. It's up to us to find the field and get ourselves on the pattern here. Go ahead and make my radio call. Molokai traffic, November 11816 is a uh, twin otter at uh, 2,500 inbound will be... Uh, Jumping in a left-hand pattern for runway five, Molokai traffic. Okay, three and a half, I think, will get us there on the other side of this hill what I might do is just kind of and you know what I'm gonna have to overfly the field just get a just get a visual on it and uh, so I'll probably jump probably overfly and jump in a in a left hand upwind and come back around once I once I get eyes on it there's there's three and a half should be good. Molokai traffic, uh, Twin Otter 11816. We're going to overfly the field at uh, 3,500 and uh, enter the left hand pattern. Runway 5, Molokai. Read the power back a little bit here. Don't need to be in a hurry. Alright. <clears throat> is everybody excited for the bat sim velocity on Monday? I know I am, dude. I am. I, I'm going to go, uh, when I crash out tonight, I'm going to go watch that video that was shared. I can't wait to see what they're what they're up to and um, expect. Okay, everybody expect it. Monday, everything's going to crash. Servers are going to crash. You're not going to be able to download things. There's going to be bugs, and so it's not really going to be operational probably till about uh, Tuesday to Wednesday. Let's just kind of plan on that. All right, don't uh, so don't everybody freak out. Let's not have a let's not have our monthly Microsoft Flight Sim world update coronary, but uh, it'll be worth it, guys. It'll be so worth it, so amazingly worth it. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm excited to mess around with it anyway. All right, hello, Molokai. Reffing out at 80 knots. It'd be nice to uh, bring it in here at about 90 if we could. Still don't see the airport. Aereo Puerto. Probably going to fly right over the top of it and not be able to see it. In a half. Where are airports? But you guys at the back see it? Nope. Oh, not yet. Should be right on the other side of this hill. All right, I see the lights actually. I think we're gonna go ahead and just join the join the base lake. 
Yeah, we'll fly. We'll fly a pattern. Molokai traffic, Twin Otter 816 at 2,500. We're about three miles to the uh, south of the field. Excuse me, uh, north of the field. We're going to be uh, overflying and uh, left-hand pattern, runway 5, Molokai. All right, uh, tower, 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 tower. Contact me, okay. Molokai Tower, hello, Twin Otter, November 11816, about two to the uh, north of the field. November 11816, Molokai Tower. Good evening. Pay attention. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we just picked up the field. If it's okay, we'd like to overfly and uh, jump into left-hand pattern runway 5. Roger that. November 11816. Uh, overfly the field. Enter left close traffic for runway 5. Left close traffic, runway 5. No one, November 11816. I forgot to mispronounce the name. Dang it. All right, there you go. There we go. There we go. Technically, if I'm overflying, I shouldn't be at 1,500. I should be at 2,000. So I'm kind of screwing that up. But uh, so be it. Looking forward to this. This is going to be a nice way to end the evening. And... Uh, Brett, I appreciate you staying up late. I know you've been controlling for a while here as well. And everybody who's in the chat, just uh, give me a couple of minutes. If you want to make a landing rate prediction just for fun, you can. Molokai Tower, Fair, November 6978 Tango, with question. I will uh, tell you right now that. Tango, Molokai Tower, patch message. Um. Uh, I've only made about five or six landings in this plane, so it's I'm not super efficient with it. But I do have fun. Speed's coming down nicely. It's about where I want. This is flap speed. Anything below 100 is flap speed. Now we're gonna start to make that turn now. This uh, crosswind leg. Catching some late day light, you guys, uh, kind of by accident. Lost side of the field, of course. We're going to go ahead and just keep it closed traffic. Get on the downwind. Oy, okay, yep. There's the field. Remember six nine or seven eight tango. You are clear to we'll toss a notch airport. of flaps in here. It's the crossing runway. Uh, climb and maintain five thousand. We're good there. And that will be your cruise. Squawk two one zero one. So yeah, this terrain is kind of wicked because of uh, I can't really go too much further this way. There's the almost the end of my runway. And November 6, 9, or 7, 8, Tango, um, what uh, navigation equipment do you have on board today? Uh, we have GPS, but we'd uh, like to only use VOR if possible. All right, here we go. At Tower, uh, Twin Otter 816 is turning base, runway 5. Twin Otter 816, wind 040 at Five, runway five, clear to land. Runway five, clear to land. One one eight one six. All right, where are you? Runway. There you are, kind of hidden in the trees. Second notch of flaps coming in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. See how we do. We're a little high. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, four whites. The peppies are icy. That's a little slow. 
Uh, missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. November six nine or seven eight Tango runway five taxi via Alpha cross runway one seven. Five via Alpha and cross runway one seven seven Tango. Go. Little breezy. Not account for that. Continue. Oh boy. Side loaded it a little bit there, but there's reversers. All right, and welcome to welcome to Molokai. Yeah, those reverser sounds are kind of awkward. The transition, I mean. One eight one six. Welcome to Marshmallow. Take your next left on Charlie. Good job. To the ramp. And we're going to hang uh, Louie here at the intersection. Appreciate the service there. Uh, Malaki Tower, over and out. Let's make sure that we are out of everybody's way. And uh, we are. All right, welcome. Number welcome, six, guys. Seven, eight, tango, are you going to be ready when you get to the end there? Or you need to run up. That will be ready. Seven, eight, tango. Well, in that case, wind 040 at 5, runway 5, clear for takeoff, on course departure approved. What takeoff should we go park by? These course. these aircraft look interesting down here. Let's go down here. It's like a little kit plane or something. I, oh, this is... Wait a second. It's so hard to tell what the taxi lines are because the lights are all over the place. Yeah, we're going to come in here, I think. Tail dragger. And then, like the, like the lines are just all over the place here. Well, the lines aren't, but people are just parking wherever they want. We're just going to park right here. Okay. Parking brakes are set. And let's see if we can get this baby shut down here. Um, take track IR off for one. Need to. I think we're gonna kind of props back feather. Gins can uh, come off. Remember six nine or seven. Lighting can come go. off. Departure is offline. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Uh, but 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 da. Strobe can come off. Yeah, and uh, let's go ahead and. Make sure to idle cutoff. That will work there. Fuel off. Pumps off. Don't have any idea where the avionics switch is on this thing, so I'm guessing maybe they don't have it modeled. It just kind of starts. Um, just kind of starts up when you put the power on there, I guess. But. Uh, all right, anything else? Frequency Malarkey Tower is now closed. Monitor Unicom, have a good night. <laughs> Zip. Well, Shusey, uh, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Why'd I park there? I'm on vacation. It's all good. <laughs> Hang loose, bro. Uh, Pentagon, better butter inbound, and we did have a prediction there. I forgot. Yeah, um, the airport is down there. Yeah, man. So. Here we are. How about the Hawaiian livery? That's not bad. I like that. I like that. Uh, all right. I know. I know. Volanta. Volanta touchdown report. That's what you guys are all about here. How did we do? How did we do? It's kind of a fun flight. Uh, oh, 99, baby. Good job. 102. Holy cow. That's, yeah, that's about as good as I can do. We recovered from a very shaky start. Avoided some airspace and got in there. Made it about halfway. I mean, that's uh, it's a trip in something VFR, um, you know, t from top to bottom there, uh, you know, on the Hawaiian Island chains. But that was uh, that was fun. That was fun.
but uh, I don't know about that, but it was pretty good. I will take it, that's for sure. Two pretty good landings. Actually, uh, when does that ever happen? That's crazy. Ah... Hey, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. All right, you guys. Okay, let's uh, let, me, let me wrap this up. And uh, first of all, thanks, good fixings again for staying up late. Appreciate that very, very much. It was really kind of you. Um, thank everybody for coming by. XP Knutson, it was great to have you follow. I don't know if you're still here or not. And uh, Smitty, thank you so much for the re-ascription seven months, my buddy. Thank you so, so much greatly appreciate that. I'm going to try to find somebody here. Um, which wise? Ooh, actually, stand by one second. I'm hearing something upstairs. Crisis averted, I think. I think. All right, back to the outro. Um. Oh, oh yeah, more thank yous here. Yeah, Shoozy, Corey Darkman, Pentagon, of course, Dub Nation Gaming. Um, let's see who all was here. Man, there was a lot of people. Darkwind. Had lots and lots and lots of people that came in today. I greatly appreciate it as always. You guys are awesome your support and man oh man who do we i mean there's a uh, about here that are pretty doggone good hey let's go over we've got eric flight that is uh that's going right now let's go see eric flight and he's the man that put this together so let's go show him some love but uh, he's a great dude very creative guy and uh does an awesome job in his streams let's go some, some raid. I will be back, by the way, on Tuesday. My Bush League uh, rewind. We've got something from last year at this time that we had some fun up in, in Idaho, so that's where I'm going to be. At 6 p.m. It's 1 o'clock Zoom, kind of, kind of the normal Tuesday schedule. Uh, then on Thursday, I'm going to break out that 757 from uh, Western Airlines, and we're going to do some more work out there on the West Coast, and then uh, this time next week, it'll be another episode of International Melbourne. We'll be back in Australia, hopefully we'll have an Australia update, uh, the uh, world scenery, and we should have some fun down there in the CRJ. Alright guys, uh, thanks again so much for coming by, and um, as always, Appreciate you hanging with me. We'll see you over on Eric's uh, channel, and I'll catch up with you on Tuesday probably. Take care. Thanks for watching my problem.